Friday nights of yesteryear. This is Texarkana Football Classic, brought to you by KLFI TV and these fine sponsors. BCS Business Communication Systems, Carmichael's Custom Jewelry, Chicken Express, Cooper Service. Domino Federal Credit Union. Millway Federal Credit Union. Red River Credit Union. Ross and Showbuy, Elder Law Attorneys. And Sonic, America's Driving. Welcome to Grimm Stadium for the 1994 edition of the Arkansas High, Texas High football game. I'm Sean McMahon along with my co-host Gary Cherry. Gary, this is the 78th meeting here at, Grim at uh, in Texarkana for these schools, a meeting with a rich tradition in history. Without a doubt, Sean, 78 times these teams have come to play, and this year it's a Texas High. Texas High uh, won here the last home time around. They won 7-6 back two years ago against Arkansas High. Arkansas High came back last year and won 7-0 in a, in a real close ball game. This is Coach Johnny Toombs' his sixth year at Arkansas High. Also, Ross Thornton's over at Texas High for his sixth year. Coach Toombs is 4-1 in this series, but uh, Ross Thornton, I think, has the plus this year, and he wants to move that closer, and uh, his football team wants to win tonight. We're here in Grim Stadium. You're seeing part of the uh, band and cheerleaders and pep squads from Texas High as uh, they're out on the field. We have a joint band presentation at this time as a pregame, a nice pregame celebration for the fans here. The fans are still piling in. The game is going to be delayed a few minutes, uh, maybe as much as 10 or 15, because of the tremendous showing of fans and because of the security system they've put in. Definitely, and they've got uh, two large lines out in front of the stadium here at Grimm Stadium with fans coming in to be checked into the stadium and also a lot of them purchasing their tickets, and we're going to have a good crowd here tonight, and that's uh, that's what we want for good high school football. I don't know if our cameraman can give you a shot of the buses we've got down here uh, at the end of the field, but it's just in, an indication of how these schools have worked together to try and make this as positive an experience. You know, sometimes grudge matches, as you can see, the line of buses and a tremendous number of cars in that parking lot alone. Yeah, that's just half of them, Sean. There's another large fleet of buses just to the west of the stadium too so we've got quite a few buses probably 30 or 40 buses that brought kids and their families and to the ballpark tonight to watch this game you know I, I grew up in a situation where we had a an arch rival a lot of grudge match involved much like this situation and I know that uh, sometimes you can things can turn uh, violent things can turn in a negative way both schools have worked so hard as the whole community has sure. to make this an extremely positive experience we're down here at Grimm Stadium in the heart of Texarkana uh, I don't know if you can tell those of you watching on television but this is a brand new carpet as you might call it. it's a it's a gra natural grass field but it's a brand new grass field a beautifully manicured field they've done an, uh, just an outstanding job on it the stadium is in as good condition as it's been in years and also we've got some good football weather we had a little bit intermittent rain today, but it's cleared as far as the rain has stopped, and we've got a good, crisp uh, Friday night for football. It's not real cool, but it's not real warm, but it's just as ill said, going just about right for football. We want to uh, take a moment now, and uh, Gary, let's talk a little bit about what this game means for these teams. Arkansas High came off of a year where they were 10 and 2. Uh, they went to the quarterfinals of the state playoffs. Uh, they had some extreme speed last year with Corey Kelly, Eric Warfield, and, and, and company. And all those guys graduated. Uh, the the one prominent starter that returns is Marty Cherry. And Coach Johnny Toombs is having to just basically go with an all new crew of people. Well, one thing, Jerry Hubbard played a lot last year as a backup role to Kelly and some of the others, but uh, they've got some uh, players that are determined to come out tonight to prove themselves. 
Demetrius Robinson is going to be a good running back. Jerry Hubbard also at the wing back is Mark Smith. And uh, one thing about Arkansas High, they, they're going to come out and play strong, hard-nosed football. This game being the first game of the year for both teams, and they always feel like they've come away from this game, if they can win it, it seems like their season kind of looks good the rest of the year. Well, we've told you a little bit about Arkansas High. We're going to take a break and let you hear from one of the fine sponsors that helps bring this program to you. When we come back, we're going to take a look from the other side of the field and talk about what Coach Royce Thornton has with his Texas High Tigers. But we'll be back right with you in just a moment. Let's hear from one of our sponsors. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. If you live, work, worship, or attend school in Bowie, Cass, Marion, or Miller counties, you can become a member of Domino Federal Credit Union. Introducing Domino Rewards Checking. It's simply the safest and smartest way to protect your finances. Benefits include free gift cards, free teller checks, and free skip a payment on your loans. Plus, receive cell phone and identity theft protection and much, much more. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. Federally insured by NCUA, equal housing lender. At Red River Credit Union, we know everyone is looking for more convenience and less hassle. To help make life a little easier, we offer Red River Credit Union Express Branches. Our Express Branches are open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday to help get business done. You'll find an Express Branch nearby with locations in Texarkana on Texas Boulevard, Walton Drive, and inside Central Mall. Convenience with a personal touch. At Red River Credit Union, we exist to serve you. We're back with you here at Grimm Stadium, and we talked a little bit about Arkansas High's Razorbacks. On the other side of the field, we've got Coach Royce Thornton in his sixth year with Texas High, and the we have for him just the opposite situation. Whereas Johnny Toombs is in the midst of what you might consider a rebuilding year, Royce, Royce Thornton has got a large contingent of returning lettermen, uh, a big group of seniors, a guys, a lot of young men with a lot of experience. Texas High has uh, really two good, capable quarterbacks tonight. Charles Ray is a starting quarterback, but they've got a good fullback in, in uh, Trey Rochelle and some, in the, in the wingback uh, Coleman and uh, Skip Shaw also have some talent for Texas High. But I think their mainstay may be their defense this year. And if their defense can be tough, I think their offense is going to put some points on the board to win games for them. You know, Royce Thornton has uh, been an out dueled as there you see a little bit we're going to break right now and take a look at this this is a little bit of the camaraderie we've talked about as the two schools have been trying to make this as positive an experience as they can and so uh, a little exchange of gifts there of goodwill uh, between the two teams uh, or representatives from the two schools Royce Thornton has lost four of the five games to Johnny Toombs in this uh, match I know he's looking to turn that around most people would look on paper and say that they're, they were a little bit of a favorite. Uh, they've got a lot of returnees. They've got a good quarterback. They've got two wide receivers that can fly. Yeah. You've and got Michael Holmes and Craig Monroe. They've got a lot of things going for them. And this is a, an opportunity for Texas High to really shine and begin their season in a real positive way. What you've seen on the field right now has been a prayer led by one of the students in the student body, uh, something that also helps really keeps us keep things in perspective. Yeah. Well, I'm sure glad that we have it take prayer out of the football fields, uh, Sean. I think that's something well, that we, we've gotten we it need out to of understand. We are uh, God's people, and we need to do these things that are that are good for our for our country. That's right. You know, when all things are, are said and done, we uh, we have to realize that there are priorities. The person you're seeing on your screen right there is Natalie Gibbs, uh, daughter of Steve Gibbs, pastor of Highland Park. Natalie was our intern at KBSC this summer. Uh, she ought to be working here tonight instead of enjoying the game in the crowd. <laughs> but we appreciate all Natalie did for KBSC this summer. Sean, I'd like to make mention that uh, both Arkansas High and Texas High, Johnny Duke Toombs uh, and Ross Thorne, both of them are excellent coaches, and I want to commend these two young coaches. They've been friends for many years and rivals in the coaching circles, but let me tell you something. Once the game's through, they're, 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 they're friends the rest of the year, and that's the way we ought to be as Texas County. We're all one, really. Uh, we play this game once a year as far as football, and after that, we're all Texas County. That's right. And 
We also want to remind you we'll be bringing not only Texas High and Arkansas High games this year on KBSC, but we'll be going down to visit with Coach David Ream and the Leopards of Liberty Ilo as they, uh, in several games, and we'll be out at Pleasant Grove with their new coach, right. Rodney Russell, as he's building his program out there. And so We've got uh, a lot of excitement in football, high school football for Texas County. We've got four great high schools, and we need to, to get the fans to come out and watch these uh, teams play. They need to be supporting their schools, and we want to really encourage that. This, this uh, tradition, as we mentioned, has had 77 games. Texas leads the series 46 to 25 with six ties. Arkansas High over the last six years has won four of the last six. But the interesting thing behind this is there have been 36 shutouts that in the prior to the, you know, the last high scoring game was in 87. But other than that, Neither team has scored more than two touchdowns in the well, last seven years. You're right. Uh, in the in the late 40s and the 50s, Texas High was so dominant over Arkansas High, and that's where a lot of shutouts occurred from about 1947 through about 1960, 63 or so. And uh, but uh, since that time, it's been uh, been a toss up between both schools. Yeah. Well, we're going to take another break and let you hear from another one of the sponsors that brings you Texarkana High School football here on KBSC, and we'll be right back in just a moment. The road to financial freedom is waiting for you at Millway Federal Credit Union. It's obvious why so many residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller counties are making Millway their financial institution. Millway strives to offer services at lower cost with attractive rates to ensure you, the member, earn more and save more every day. Reconnect with your money and feel good again. At Millway, it's your way. Locations in Ashdown and Texarkana, Arkansas, and Texarkana, Texas. Membership available to all residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller County. Federally insured by NCUA. Equal House Lender. And that last spot of Pizza Inn, we want to thank them. They provide the pizza for the all-volunteer crew here at KBSC. And we want to take a moment and thank that volunteer crew. There are numbers and numbers of people behind the scenes that uh, have regular 8 to 5, 9 to 5 jobs. Some of them have night jobs sure. that that's give their time. In the what, evenings uh, and after work and before work to help with this, uh, bringing this program to you. And we appreciate them so much. We would not be able to have high school football here on KBSC without the volunteers that we have. And we have a great number of them. I hope we can get a list of the names tonight so we can mention those, Sean. I'd like to take a moment to uh, to remember Coach Bill Holly Hollingsworth that passed away this January for Arkansas High. An extremely great coach, a Vietnam veteran, a Retiring of the U.S. Air Force. He died of a massive heart attack in January of this year. And, folks, you don't have too many coaches like Coach Bill Holly Hollingsworth. And we just want to bring that uh, to some of the fans who didn't, may not have known that he had passed away this year, January of this year. And we'll miss Coach Holly, Bill Hollingsworth. And, you know, a lot of things come into perspective, Gary. Football is an exciting sport. We're glad that we're able to bring it to you. You know, and but other things have to come, and, and we have to realize that things have to be brought into perspective. Even as these two coaches have readied their teams, they've realized just how fragile human life and the human sure. body is. Several of them have uh, have had to look at the injury situation uh, on the Arkansas side. Uh, the fastest man on the team, Greg Gray, down with a sprained ankle, and, the and uh, Bill Green is still suffering from, uh, I believe, it's a back injury or neck injury. On the uh, Texas side, uh, their largest, their biggest man, Oscar Rivers, is out. And uh, also, we've just, uh, we've been told this evening that it uh, looks like Lamontre Colquitt, who's probably their finest lineman, is maybe out for this game with strep throat. Well, i tell you one thing. These injuries and our sicknesses, uh, they can come about sometime at the wrong times. But uh, we have to remember that those human bodies are more important than athletic competition. And we need to get those folks well when they come back and play. Well, let's let you all listen in a little bit to the bands now down on the field. We're going to go down to our field mic and let you hear them. Please remain standing while we have the national anthem play. 
Yeah, but see, it also focuses uh, because when you, you can go down part way and you can feel it. Yeah, it's like the same thing. Yeah, it's like the same thing. national anthem you see the players for Texas High gathered down under the south end zone I believe that is I'm trying to get my directions right here Gary Cherry that is right and uh, Gary this is going to be a game that is going to hinge on defense coach Royce Thornton and coach Johnny Toombs have both said defense but both of them have pointed to the other's defense <laughs> <laughs> well you know that's a uh, coach's uh, usually comeback is to talk at uh, the other team's defense but I think tonight's game I think the whole field advantage of course will be Texas high they won it two years ago seven to six and uh, uh, if there is a home field advantage that uh, could give it a two, two or three point sway there but tonight's game will be one in the trenches and who plays the toughest if you get a break you got to capitalize on the break and I think that's basic high school football is going after him and giving your all and that's uh, that's what coach Toombs and Royce, uh, Royce Thornton now I think is asking his players to go out there and play your best and chips will fall with their might. It's been pretty well publicized that uh, the quarterback for Arkansas High, Marty Cherry, has already verbally committed to the University of Texas. Uh, Coach John Makovic uh, over there I know is uh, real excited about that, said he showed real well in the summer camp. And yet at the same time, Arkansas High has not been a throwing team and will not be a throwing team. No, no they, they, run, uh, they, they like to run the football, and that's a situation where that uh, – Tonight, uh, if they have the opportunity to throw the ball, they'll throw the football. And I think Royce, in the same respect, he'll be throwing that football. If it takes it to get down there to score, Royce Thornton will be doing the same thing. So tonight's ball game, I think, will hinge on who, get a, who gets the break, Sean, and then if they can capitalize on it and, uh, and put the ball in the end zone. Of course, that's all any coach wants them to do is get that ball in the end zone, get their defense back out there and do their, do their job. You see the, the banner that the Texas High players, it says, shave the Razorbacks. <laughs> They're going to be coming through at the other end. The uh, Arkansas high players are going to be coming through a tiger banner. It's laying on the floor, right on the ground right now. We can't tell exactly what it says. Uh, down below us, uh, the captains representing Texas high are getting ready to go out. Uh, they include Demetrius, well, excuse me, not Demetrius, um, number 44, Roderick Pitts, number 42, Trey Rochelle, number 15, Craig, uh, Michael Holmes, and number 10, Craig Monroe. They are the representative captains for uh, Texas high. And uh, on the other side of the field, Arkansas High, uh, Johnny Toombs' tradition is wait until homecoming to name his permanent captain. He lets the seniors rotate through in the first five games of the year as captains. Uh, tonight over there, he's got number 76, Philip Williams. Number 68 is Lorenzo Paxton. Number 16, Marty Cherry. Number 78, Joey Martin. And number 82, Trip Fusel as they're coming out to greet each other. There you see the banner that the Arkansas High players are going to be running through. When they get it stretched out, <laughs> we'll be able to tell you what it says. Uh, you see the captains 
I like uh, there? I like the hairdo there for uh, Joey Martin. Joey Martin, Joey's a fine, fine athlete, a fine youngster, and. Uh, well, all these yeah, athletes are use, are pretty well multi-sport uh, standouts uh, for their respective schools. I know uh, last year as we covered the Red River Shootout, you see the flip of the coin. And Arkansas High has evidently won the toss. They have declined to. the toss. They have declined to choose, deferring over to Texas High. And we'll just let the referee tell you. Like the Arkansas High will defend. Yeah, looks like the Texas High is going go. to. Looks like Texas High has chosen to take the ball, and, uh, and they will be heading toward the south end. And so we're going to be ready to bring this game to you, and it is going to start about 10 minutes late. Uh, it's about right when they had expected to. The captains are going back to join their teammates, and uh, as usually happens, one thing we're glad to say. In high school football, the officials on the field, uh, not only do they call the game, but they also try and help build the character of these young men. Definitely, and most of these uh, officials have played football and have been in some sports of some sort in their younger days, and they realize the importance of what their job is out there, and they have to understand the players do have to respect what they say because what they say is always right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. All right, do you see the Texas High Tigers and the, the Razorbacks are coming through the banner. There you see the Arkansas High Razorbacks. Let head coach Johnny Toombs, as they come out, they came off a tremendous season last year. They won this game last year 7 0. There come the Tigers of Texas High, coached by Roy Thornton. They are looking for that home field advantage again uh, that they had two years ago as they upset Arkansas High 7 6. And we're going to be ready to, for the kickoff in just a moment. But before then, let's hear another word from one of the sponsors that helps bring Texarkana High School football to you here, right here on KBSC. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. If you live, work, worship, or attend school in Bowie, Cass, Marion, or Miller counties, you can become a member of Domino Federal Credit Union. Need a low-cost loan? Personal, auto, motorcycle, boat, RV, vacation, real estate. We take care of all your loan needs. Make your life easier. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. Federally insured by NCUA, equal housing lender. In a world of everyday checking accounts, we're offering more, so much more. Red River Federal Credit Union presents the Member's Choice Premier Account featuring no per check charges, cell phone insurance, ID theft protection, and credit file monitoring with shopping, travel, and entertainment rewards and discounts. Plus, peace of mind with fraud reimbursement. Open your Member's Choice Premier Account this summer only at Red River Federal Credit Union. Monthly fee will apply. And we're back with you at Grimm Stadium here in Texarkana as we get ready to start the 78th meeting of the Arkansas High Texas High Series. The Tigers are going to receive. Deep for them are number 10, Craig Monroe. Uh, in the middle is number eight, Jerry Coleman, who is their speedster, their, their, he's their featured tailback. And also number 47, and I don't see, that's 43, excuse me, 43, LeJonte James. LeJonte is a transfer from Liberty Ilo. He uh, was a standout uh, wingback for Liberty Ilo last year, and he is really giving Skip Shaw some, uh, some co competition for that wingback slot for yep. Texas High. Kicking off for Arkansas High is going to be Fred Cornelius. Fred this year is handling all the kicking duties for the Razorbacks, and we're about ready to get it underway. 1994 edition of Texas High, Arkansas High football coming your way, fans. Cornelius kicks. Coleman's going to take the ball at about the four yard line. Works it straight up to the middle, and he gets out to about the 23. 
First met there by number 27, Mark Smith, as well as by number 19, Fred Cornelius, down on the tackle. I'll tell you what, those Smith. kickers love to get downfield and get uh, running man, you know it. <laughs> yeah, Mark Smith, uh, the wingback on the offense for Texas and for Arkansas High was quick to, to go be down on the coverage. So Texas High starts first and 10 at about the 23. They're going to say that it's just inside between 23 and 24. Number 11, Charles Ray's your quarterback. 42, Trey Rochelle's a fullback. Eight, Coleman's the halfback. Rochelle gets the ball, breaks the sides, got some running room, and gets it out to about the 34 yard line. That probably is going to be enough for a first down. Good. He's brought down there by 44, Demetrius Robinson. Good run there, Sean. Uh by number 42 for the Texas High Tigers. And uh, Rochelle got some good blocking up front and just busted through there for some good yardage. Cedric Daniels and Demetrius Robinson in on the stop, but it's first and 10 for the Tigers, and it's just what they want to do. That offensive front line is uh, moving the moving out on that line and firing off that line, and they're doing some good blocking for Royce Thornton's uh, Tigers. We'll set that. Ray takes a snap, hands it Coleman. He cuts back to the right. Goes up Phil Lubbock, gets about five yards, and he's hit met there by Robinson and by 24, uh, Jimmy Moore. As they stop him, he gets a gain of almost five. Sean had a little misdirection as he saw his blocking move inside. He moved to the outside and was able to see a seam and get some good yardage. Let's set that offensive line for the Tigers for you real quickly. We got number 50, Brian Ogburn at the center, number 71, Jeremy Duncan at uh, right guard, number 73, Jason Benson at right tackle. Number 72 is the stand. He's Jason Minter. He's a replacement at left tack, left guard, and 55 core. Oh, fumble. Like we got a fumble in the back. Arkansas of the high. It's recovered by number 18, Ophelia Moore, for and the Razorbacks, and they get the first break. We've got a flag on the field, and the ball is spotted at the 34. And let's see what the flag is all about. You cannot uh, advance a fumble in Texas. In Arkansas, you can advance the fumble, Sean, and that's the difference. Motion. It's Texas motion high. against Texas High. That will be declined. And the Razorbacks get the first break of the game. And both coaches have said breaks are what's going to make this game as is in most kids. There you going to see the, the replay. replay. He just never got the snap. He never got the snap. And hopefully Moore's right there to get it. Now, if this was at Arkansas High last year, he would have been able to go in the end zone with the football. But no advancement of the football after fumble in Texas. Marty Cherry, quarterback for the Razorbacks. Fullbacks Demetrius Robinson, halfbacks Jerry Hubbard, winbacks Mark Smith. Hubbard gets the ball, goes right up the middle. He's met by a line there. First guy to get him is number 55, Corey Thurman. And uh, Corey wasn't going to let go. And then he was gang tackled by a host. And it looks like we're going to have a no gain on that. Jerry Hubbard is the, the tailback. Uh, line, Bill Green, number 77, is center. Joey Martin, 78, left tackle. Clint Jones, 55, is left guard. 70, John Henry Arnold is the right guard. 74, Rod Van is the right tackle. Opaline Moore is the wide out. And Trent Fusell is the tight end. Mark Smith is in the slot. Quick handoff up to Demetrius Robinson. He gets down to the 30-yard line before he's met there by Jerry Coleman and by uh, Roderick Pitts, number 44 for Texas High. The defense again for Texas High playing the football and uh, they know the running backs for Arkansas High and they're waiting to see who gets the football and then they're they're moving across that line and getting them. Then it's a fairly good run there for Demetrius. Uh, again, uh, Texas High has a good defense and uh, they're gonna play tough tonight. Set the defense for you up front. It's Brandon Skinner, Jason Perry, Corey Thurman, and 76 is uh, Johnny Walker, he's a sub. He was not expected to play. Cherry back to pass under pressure, loses the ball. And the Tigers get it back right at the spot. They lost it at the 34. Let's see who comes up with it. 77 recovers four. Oh, excuse me, they're saying Arkansas High got it back. The initial call was for the Tigers, but Bill Green was able to get the ball back. Let's see, Corey oh. Thurman looked to be the first guy there. Oh, Johnny Walker, 76, was the first guy there, and he could not get a hold of the ball. Arkansas High had the first break, Sean, and uh, they were not able to capitalize. And again, this game of these two teams, each year you've got to capitalize on the breaks you get. In Texas High, you have to come in their defense. They come right back and uh, play tough, tough, tough. And right now we've got to punt the football we've for Arkansas High. Fourth and 11 from the 34. And 
And we've got a penalty flag. Time ran out before Coach Toombs could call the timeout. I believe they're going to call the delay of game. Coach Toombs was trying to get a timeout called to head some confusion as far as uh, now, yep, there's the call, delay of game. That actually may be a help. Sure. Because it allowed Craig Cornelius to go for the uh, corner a little better, give him a little more room. They're going to bring the ball out to about the 40-yard line. Coach Royce Thornton down there conferring with one of the officials. Situation like that, Sean, you're right. I think it's more of a uh, more of a help to the Razorbacks and a hindrance on that five-yard penalty. It gives Cornelius a little better kicking chance there to try to put the ball with inside the 10-yard line. Fred Cornelius be punting for the Razorbacks. Deep is Michael Holmes, number 15, and Craig Monroe, number 10. They're standing at their 10-yard line. One would assume anything that went over their heads, they're going to let go. Good snap. Punt is for the left corner, and oh, it's a short, short kick. I know Fred's not going to be pleased with that. And they're bringing it out to the 21-yard line almost. Right at the 20-yard line. So we're going to be, Texas High is going to be taking it over there at the 20-yard line. Uh, and again, we've seen turnovers and their little nervousness on both sides of the ball. Let's see what the Tigers come out with here. You have to uh, score Texas High defense eight plus on that one, Sean. They uh, they played tough uh, when the fumble was made. The Tigers defense was good. Charles Ray and Jerry Coleman right up to me had a big hole, cut back to the left, spun and got to the 30 yard line. He may be close enough for a first down. Depends on where they're going to mark it. They're going to mark it just shy of the 30. I'll tell you that youngster could have had a dump truck and went through that hole. He had some. Uh, some openings there, Sean, and uh, if he hadn't really got tripped up, he might have got more yardage. Are you going to see it? Take another look at it. Coleman's a 5'8", 160-pound junior. Watch the wide opening there. Yep, he had fended off uh, Mark Carroza for the Razorbacks. We'll set the Razorbacks' defense when we get an opportunity. We've got second down and one. 42, Rochelle drops the ball, and let's see who, who gets it back. There's no indication at this point. It looks like Rochelle picked it back up and he crossed over the 30 yard line. He should have enough for a first down. A little of uh, first to gain jitters for both sides, I'm sure, Sean. You see Rochelle talking about how it hit his pads and, and bounced out. Uh, let's set, well, we got this opportunity while they're smart, they're going to measure this. Let's set the defense for Arkansas High. We've got number 76, Philip Williams, number 14, Mark Carroza. If you think it's an odd number for a defensive tackle, Carroza's the backup quarterback. Uh, which is even more odd. Right. <laughs> uh, number 73, Chad Rolden. Number 50, Cedric Daniels. Uh, Ophelie Moore's at one uh, cornerback. 15, Elbert Kelly's at another cornerback. Jimmy Moore's number 24 is one safety. Herbert Jones, number 40, is the other safety. Linebackers are 44, Demetrius Robinson. 19, Fred Cornelius. And 65, Jason Hart. We've got first down and 10 at the 31 for Charles Ray and the Texas High Tigers. Inside handoff to Rochelle again, and he gets about a yard, and that's about it. He's stuffed there by number 76, Philip Williams. And uh, also on the bottom there is number 73, Chad Rolden. Rolden is one of the biggest players in the Arkansas squad, going at about 280. One thing about uh, the Razorbacks defense, uh, Coach Denny Burdine will have these players playing their, their best. He's just the type of individual that can uh, get this team excited on defense and uh, he always seems to come out with a good defensive team. We've got second down and eight. They're going to say uh, about two yards. A pitch back to Coleman. He's got he's got the corner turned, and he is caught there by number 15, Albert Kelly, and number 19, uh, excuse me, number 18, hopefully more. Well, 19, Fred Cornelius was there along with number 50, Cedric Daniels. Those are on the strong side. But he picked up. Six more yards. And there you see Coleman. He almost got caught in the backfield. It looked like 44 Robinson was in on the tackle. Albert Kelly was there waiting to him to make that cut. He uh, he was ready to bring him down and get made a good play as well as other uh, defenders that you mentioned. But you know, Gary, that brought out one of the things Johnny Toons was concerned about. His backfield, defensive backfield, does not have a lot of experience. One of the things a strong safety needs to do is stop that guy from turning the corner. Kelly was not able to do it. Trey Rochelle up the middle, big hole. Breaks across midfield into Arkansas territory. Gets it down to the 41-yard line. 
Big game for Trey Rochelle, a quick opener right up off the right tackle. Here's a replay, Sean. He, he gets to the left side of that left line. Left tackle. Good, good block there by his offensive line. And, and that, that showed uh, some strength on there because he carried Demetrius Robinson about five yards. So we've got first and 10 from the 41. And off to Coleman, he cuts back, good move. Cuts back, gets about three yards. Looked like he was gonna be sacked for a loss. We got Fred Cornelius and number 76, uh, Philip Williams in on the tackle. It looked like they were gonna be able to catch him behind the line of scrimmage. Number 65, Jason Hart had come in and contained him real quickly. And uh, great, just it showed the athletic ability of a Jerry Coleman. He's not he's not big, but he's, he's crafty. And a good running back, a good running back has to be crafty, Sean, and, and with the speed too, he can make things happen. This is the seventh play of the drive. And Quick pitch out there, Coleman dropped the ball. It's picked up by Phillip Williams. Now, again, as okay. Gary's already said, what's he the rule? He wanted to, he can't, and in Texas, you cannot advance a fumble. In Arkansas, you can do so. And again, Coach Royce Thornton is not happy with the execution of his Tigers. Coach Johnny Toombs is again praising the swarming defense of the Razorback. Take a look at this, the pitch. Coleman never got the pitch. He just never got the pitch. And Phillip Williams was right there to pick it up. Good play for Williams, and the Razorbacks take over on their own 44. Okay, it's up to the offense now. Defense once again for Texas High. Sean has to prove itself. They did while he go. Now it's up to the Razorbacks to take advantage of their second break of this first quarter. Okay, inside handoff to Mark. With now 22, Jerry Hubbard, and he gets across the 45 to the 46. Pick up of two. We're gonna set the uh, Texas High defense for you if we can. Uh, they've had a few changes from what they expected because of some illnesses and injuries. Uh, up front, number 34, Brandon Skinner. Uh, number 76, Johnny Walker. Number 55, Corey Thurman. And number 72 is uh, Jason Minter up front for them. Uh, the linebackers are 42, Trey Rochelle, 44, Roderick Pitts. We got second down and eight. Mark Smith in motion. Quick handoff to Demetrius Robinson, big hole, and he gets all across midfield to about the 47-yard line of Texas High. Got marker just shy of the 47. That's going to bring up a third and about a long two or a long one. Terry, they've got some defenders blitzing at the line. Uh, Marty Cherry, the quarterback for the Razorbacks, uh, they were going after him, but he was was able to get the handoff uh, to the running back and. Uh, if you watch, they are really trying to bust in that offensive line and get into the backfield as quick as possible. Third down, a long one. Jerry Coleman, he's stacked at the line, and let's see where his progress is. He got up to the 44. It's going to be very, very close. He's depends well, on where those, they mark it. One of those uh, could from, go either way. Yeah, from our position, it looks like the chain's going to hit the ball. So it's going to be very close. We're going to see how they mark it. The officials are going to call a timeout. But uh, again, one thing that Coach Johnny Toombs has said is Jerry Hubbard is very dependable. He seems to have very good hands. Uh, he's not real fast, but he's he's very smart with the ball. And uh, we're just going to see how he's able to do. It's going to be. It's going to be just short. Half uh, half. About six inches. Uh, six inches. It's going to be fourth down and about six inches. And the question is, are they going for it? Marty Cherry's back in. Johnny Toombs has made the first. Crucial decision. <laughs> exactly. You took the words out of my mouth. Thank you. Uh, fourth down and about six inches. And here's where we're going to see. Does defense hold out? Does offense convert? Cherry is under Bill Green at center. Stack at quarterback sneak. It looks like his forward progress initially looked like in the one official is coming up to the line. One official look marked it right shy of the 45, which would be enough for the first down. And they are. They're saying it is. Well, excuse me. They're not saying it is. <laughs> A little premature well, there. Spotting the ball. They're not spotting the ball where I saw one official's foot. The first, the line judge on this side, as he went down, was was running. It's going right to be the nose of the football. I think he may have it by just the nose again. The spot where they lay the chain is going to be so important. 
just about the nose. First got down. the nose of the ball. <laughs> That's all you got to have. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. So a good break for the Razorbacks of Arkansas High as they keep the drive going. They're at first and 10 on the 46-yard line as they converted, converted their first first down at 418 here in the first period. But this Texas high defense has been very tenacious. They got Jerry Hubbard lined up in a wingback slot now. And he's going in motion. Quick, quick insider to Robinson as he went off the left tackle. And he's down to about the 42. Should be a pickup of about four. He's brought down by number eight, Jerry Coleman, and number 55, Corey Thurman. Again, these series, the last few years, Sean, the defense uh, on both sides have played their hearts out. And tonight, it's no exception. They're still uh, playing hard-nosed defense. And, and I must admit, the weather today has been great. It's a, it's a good football Friday night for the second day of September 1994. It sure is. Last year's game was 7 to nothing on an outstanding cutback spin move by Corey Kelly for the Razorbacks. And uh, this could be, I expect this to be just as close. Second down and six from the 42. Carrot. Cherry passing, completed it to number 19, hopefully more. Excuse me, 19 is Fred Cornelius lining up over in as a receiver. I know Fred is, uh, he's a linebacker. He is a backup fullback this year. He's normally been a lineman. There you see Marty Cherry got an excellent arm, put it right where he needed to do. And they're gonna have first and 10 at the 31 yard line as they're getting some penetration now. Fred Cornelius is again one of the key players this year for the Razorbacks and uh, things that he can do not only with his defense and offense but he also can kick the football and extra points and so forth so that's important. All right first and ten. Quick upside to Fred Cor to uh, Fred Cornelius number 19. So right now uh, it seems like the Fred Cornelius show as he goes <laughs> up inside and he's brought down by 44 Roderick Pitts not before he gets five yards down to the 26 yard line. That's a, a good run, quick inside for Cornelius, the backup fullback. LeJonte James also in on the tackle for the Tigers. Marty Cherry spreading out his receivers. And Jerry Hubbard in motion, got the ball, break off the right tackle, gets inside the 20 to about the 19 yard line before knocked out of bounds by number 10, Craig Monroe. Sean, one thing about uh, Jerry Hubbard, he can read his blocking, and if he had just the speed that Corey Kelly would probably be sitting in the end zone right now. But Jerry Hubbard is a smart, smart runner. He'll watch and look for that blocking, and then he'll go for it. And this youngster is going to be a big player this year for the Razorbacks. We've got first and 10 at the 19 yard line with 2.20 to go here in the first period. Cornelius is uh, fullback and he gets the ball upside, inside. Not much there as uh, number 61 for the Tigers, Brian Cradell in on the tackle along with 44 Roderick Pitts as they stopped Fred for, for no gain. This uh, Texas high defense has really improved this year, Gary. Uh, Coach Thornton just can't talk enough about uh, his defense and the way that uh, they are really going to be a catalyst for uh, this team. He's picked up several transfer students, and uh, they have been really uh, a positive move. Marty Cherry back. Oh, and he overthrew a wide open receiver. He had tripped Fuzel open at about the three yard line and just outstretched, just over his outstretched arms. And over in the other corner of the end zone, he had number 25, uh, Ken Tyson, standing all alone. Tyson was coming back toward the huddle, tapping at his number, saying, I was open, I was open. I was there. Uh, but uh, when you have a pre-designed rollout, it's hard for the quarterback rolling to his left to see all the way back to his right. You think back, and your history probably, Ken, uh, uh, Terry Bradshaw was probably the best at that of anybody I've ever seen. All right, we have third and 10. Cherry back to pass, he's under pressure. Pass is intercepted. It's blocked here, Corey Thurman's got it, and there's nobody that's gonna catch him. We've got two flags down on the field, remember? But nobody's gonna catch Corey Thurman as he goes 70, 81 yards for a touchdown. I 
believe it's going to be called back, Sean. The Texas high players are running over, calling, yelling, holding, yelling, holding to their coaches. And so it's going to be interesting to see what the officials call on this. They are huddling. But watch this play. It was a design screen. And uh, now that's the play before you're seeing. We, we apologize for that. It was a design screen as they let the defenders come in. It was tipped up. And Corey Thurman got it, and nobody was going to catch him as he streaked down the sidelines. Excellent play by number 55, the six foot, 220 pound. Against the Tigers. Oh my goodness, it's coming back. Holding. holding against Texas High and holding against Arkansas High, offsetting penalties, they'll do the down over. Johnny Toombs is sweating and saying, well, we dodged that one. Roy <laughs> Thornton is saying, we let one get away. That's football. That's high yep. school football at its best. You have He's, things like that that come up. And there you see the Texas, the Texas High staff. Thornton is saying, come on, guys, get back over the end. Get off the sideline. And, uh, He's not pleased, of course, as you would expect, as you lose a lose six points. Regardless of the fact that it's called back, it was a tremendous play by the Texas high defense that we've just oh, been yeah. talking about. Yeah, and eight. Corey Thurman showed some speed there. He's a basketball star as well, and uh, a great young athlete. But well, they, uh, they had their defense was were, were pursuing Marty, the quarterback, and. Uh, and a good play was made there by the defense. And really, the defense tonight, the Tigers are now, really fired okay, up. Okay, now they've called the play back, and they're saying the hold was after the interception. Okay, well, that's. It was after the interception, so the Texas High Tigers do get the ball. They're starting first and 10 from their own 32 yard line. Skip Shaw is in motion. Charles Ray on a keeper. He gets he, out to the 35. He's tackled there by number 35, Charles Waller as well as number 50, Cedric Daniels. So we uh, apologize for that confusion up here in the booth. We've got exactly one minute to go here in the first period. It's 0-0. Texas High has the ball on their own 35-yard line after an interception by Corey Thurman. An apparent touchdown callback because of a hold, but they have the ball and it's second down and eight. Charles Ray is the quarterback. You've got Jerry Coleman deep. Coleman takes the pitch, cuts off to the outside. Cedric Daniels, great defensive play by Daniels to contain him and drop him for about a two-yard loss. Also in on that was number 65 for the six, Razorbacks as well. That's uh, Jason Hart. Jason Hart. Number 50, of course, made the ensuing tackle, of course, Cedric Daniels. And uh, the Razorbacks defense now, Burdine has got these youngsters fired up as well, uh, Sean. And, uh, Compliments to both defenses so far tonight's game. Both of them are playing extremely intense. You know, we talk an awful lot about the head coaches, but the unsung heroes of high school football and of any football team and any athletic team are the assistants. Oh, without a Gary, doubt. Gary, as we've got a timeout, we're going to take a timeout here and let you hear at the end of the first period. It's zero to zero here at Grimm Stadium, and we're going to. Be back right after we hear from one of the sponsors that brings you Texarkana High School football here on KBSC. The road to financial freedom is waiting for you at Millway Federal Credit Union. It's obvious why so many residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller counties are making Millway their financial institution. Millway strives to offer services at lower cost with attractive rates to ensure you, the member, earn more and save more every day. Reconnect with your money and feel good again. At Millway, it's your way. Locations in Ashdown and Texarkana, Arkansas, and Texarkana, Texas. Membership available to all residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller County. Federally insured by NCUA. Equal housing lender there you see some of this capacity crowd they're saying more than capacity on the texas side an outstanding contingent on the arkansas side as everybody has come out for this game today no, tonight you, here at grim stadium and gary cherry as we started to talk about the the unsung heroes are the assistant coaches and i'm trying to look throughout my book for the assistant coaches from Texas High, you can give us some of the Arkansas High assistant coaches. Well, Denny Burdine is the offensive co defensive coordinator. Philip Miller works with the offense. Uh, Robbie McAdoo, uh, LG Richards, uh, 
I'll have to get that list a little bit later for you, but those assistant coaches are key for the head coaches without any Okay, doubt. Charles Ray is tackled behind the line by number 35. That's Charles Waller on a great play. Ray Waller went right through untouched as we began the second period, and it's going to be a loss of about, uh, looks like eight yards back to the 25-yard line. Great defensive play by the Razorbacks. Uh, it's going to bring up fourth down and 18. The assistant coaches for Texas High include uh, Mike Clinton, Steve James, Steve Morris, Barry Hughes, Drew Norwood, David Daniels. Those are the, the uh, and Tommy Young. Those are the men who assist Roy Thornton. Not too good As you've kick. seen that punt there by T.R. Vasher. Not a good kick, out, only out to the 39-yard line. A good break again for the Razorbacks. Field position, Sean, awful important in football. And this is, the Razorbacks have had two good field positions with the two fumbles. And right now, they've got a good field position on the exchange of the football. Right now, it's up to the Razorbacks offense to punch one in because they've had some opportunities now and they need to show uh, the Tigers defense that they can score. You know, both teams have uh, had excellent field position in Gary, in the first quarter, both teams managed to have three first downs. No one was able to score. When it got down inside the 20, they stiffened up. Marty Cherries, quarterback for the Razorbacks, he goes back to pass, and he's under some pressure, and they're throwing the flag. He threw it away as number 22 for the Tigers, who is Eli Bridges, was in to pressure him all the way back to the 42-yard line. They'll add the penalty from there as Cherry tried to make it look like he was dumping it off, but the only people around were offensive linemen. Someone missed that particular man who broke through the line for the Tigers on that block, and he was able to penetrate the uh, offensive backfield for the Razorbacks and made a good play for the Tigers. Not only is it five more yards back, but it's a loss of down, and so it's second down and about 33 to go. That's not the kind of thing that uh, the Arkansas side coaches wanted to see. Well, you've got a lot of yarders to make up now. We've got two receivers split out wide. Cherry, a quarterback, and he's got Robinson as his deep as his one back. Jerry Hubbard gets the ball. Offsides. We've got an offsides called here. Hubbard gets the ball out to about the 42. But we've got a flag on the play. The initial call was the offsides. I think the right side, moving on the right side, and here's the replay, number 74. Uh, 74, Rod Van. Rod Van motion is going to be, so that's going to be five more yards. So that's going to make it second down and 38. Basically what you would say, the second and a country mile. Second and a probably country mile. I would say you're right. <laughs> and hard to uh, make up that many yards too when the defense like the Tigers are playing right now. Well, and the thing that a quarterback like Cherry is experienced, he knows don't try and get it all in one lick. Matter of fact, what they're looking for is they may just hope for something quick here. As a uh, handoff inside to number 25, Ken Tyson. Ken is a 175 pound sophomore that has shown himself well. He gets the ball back out to about the 37 yard line, a gain of about five. Uh, it's going to bring up third down and 32 or 33. And uh, it looked like maybe Coach Toombs was just saying, let's get ourselves back a little closer to midfield so when we give them the ball back, we give them back deep in their own land. Every, you know, their passing attempts so far, uh, Marty Cherry has not had any time. No, he hasn't had, and that's a key to successful passing attack. You've got to have, uh, you've got to have that blocking. Uh, and Hubbard's got it going around left side. He stumbles a little bit as he runs into a group of Tiger players, crosses the 40 to about the 41, and it's going to be fourth down and quite a bit. <laughs> They've got to get down to the 30, so it's basically going to be fourth down and about 29, and that's going to bring in Cornelius to punt. Deep for Texas High is going to be number 10, Craig Monroe, number 15, Michael Holmes. There you see one of the young fans here. He's excited about this game. That's what it's all about is the kids. He'll be in that one of those uniforms here in a few more years. He just might. Cornelius punts. 
And a good kick. Good kick. Monroe gets it on his own 23. He gets the corner tree, run to 30, 35, and he's brought down there by number 38, Jason Stewart, 135 pound junior. But uh, Monroe gets it back out to the 36, a 13 yard return. Good return by Craig Monroe. And so the Tigers will take over there. And let's see what Royce Thornton's group can do. With a first and 10, 9.22 to go here in the first period. Good, good tackling there. You see Coach Thornton in his sixth year here at Texas High. Charles Ray under center. He's back to pass. He's got some time. He loves it up deep. Oh, and he had Craig Monroe open just a little bit over his outstretched Let him hand. Just a little bit too much, Sean. The but play he, was the right play. They called the right play, right. and they had the right combination. There you see. Plenty of time to pass. Just a little bit behind Craig. If Monroe would have caught it with his speed, there you see Craig, uh, we would have been looking at six. Right. He he would have been uh, sitting there picking his teeth at the end zone because he he had a good eight, ten yard uh, advantage on the nearest receiver. The one thing that that play tells you is it can work. Sure it can work. And if you're an it offensive does. coordinator, you're thinking, <laughs> we'll wait a little bit, but we'll come back. So we've got 9.16 to go. It is second down and 10. Charles Ray pitches back to Jerry Coleman, goes over the right side. He's got a little bit of blocking. He cuts the corner and gets it out to almost the 45-yard line. He's brought down over there by 44. Uh, Demi 44 is uh, Demetrius Robinson. And yeah. also by 14, uh, Mark Carroza, or 15, excuse me, 15, Jimmy uh, Elbert Kelly is over there. We're trying to get our combination straight. We want to let you know that as we bring you this game, it's not only the inaugural game of high school football here in Texas County, it's the inaugural game for a new production truck that KBSC was uh, fortunate to obtain this year. Uh, this is uh, an experiment for us in some respects, so bear with us if there are difficulties. Quick up inside, Trey Rochelle breaks off, and he's still on his feet all the way down past the 35-yard line. Good he's run. brought down by Elbert Kelly. Knitted two, Sean, got a bunch, because he uh, he flashed flat, just bowled his way on that right side of that uh, office is blocking, as you can see right here with the replay. He goes as right he off the, the hole. Ogbert and Duncan just opened up a hole that, that our production truck could have drawn, driven through. And uh, so we have Texas High Tigers are on the march. They're down at the 35 yard line. First and 10. Quick pitch to all. Oh, good, good play. Demetrius Robinson was there beating Jerry Coleman as soon as he got the ball. I think he heard what Ross Thorne's play was, Sean. He had he was so <laughs> quick in the backfield. It, yeah, you you know, you you look at that and you almost wonder why didn't he grab the ball? <laughs> I mean he could have almost grabbed that pitch back. But as soon as Jerry Coleman got the ball, he was met. Great defensive play by Robinson. Drops him for a three-yard loss. So the Tigers are going to face the second 13 with 8.20 to go here in the second period. It's still 0-0. Zero to zero. The Tigers have offensively dominated the game of sorts. They've rushed for 74 yards. There you see that hit by Robinson. That was kind of a wake-up call that uh, Demetrius gave to the running back for the Tigers. Charles Ray takes the snap. Pitch back to Coleman, who caught it. The, the whistles are blowing. I think we had some movement before the snap, and the whistles are blowing it. And not only that, Trey Rochelle's kind of laying down there, and, and Charles Ray's kind of grabbing a, a, a leg there, too. Rochelle's grabbing a, a leg. Motion. We got motion on the Texas side. It looked to me like the left tackle may have moved just a shade early. I don't know if we can see that on replay or not, but it looked to me from my vantage point like the left tackle may have pulled his hand just, just before the snap of the ball. We've got a timeout on the field called by the Tigers, and at this timeout with 7.59 to go here in the first half. Let's take a timeout. This is Texarkana High School football right here on KBSC TV 35.
Before you make your dreams come true and purchase your dream car, tell your dealer to send your loan to Red River Credit Union. We offer on-the-spot financing right at the dealership, or you can get pre-approved face-to-face at any of our local branches or online at rrfcu.com. We have great rates and a variety of terms on new and used vehicles. Go from strolling to rolling at Red River Credit Union. Visit us online at rrfcu.com. Red River Credit Union, we exist to serve you. Show you there's the Tigers and Royce Thornton and his uh, coaching crew talking with his offensive unit. Gary, coaches at this time of year are still doing a lot of teaching lot along of teaching, with their coaching. A lot of searching to see who really wants the positions that they're out there playing right now. You look at some uh, other players that come into those positions trying to supposedly, quote, win that starting spot, and uh, both sides, Royce and Coach Toombs, too, I, I know do that because this being the first game, your scrimmage games tell you a little bit, but not everything. And, uh, of course, this is the first game for both of them. It'll tell them a lot today, tonight, for sure. All right, we've got second down and 18 for the Tigers. Pitch back to Coleman. He giving a move on Robinson, and he's trying to spin, but Demetrius is having nothing to do with it. Literally picks him up and hauls him back. And his gang tackled there, joined by Albert Kelly, by number 40, Herbert Jones, and number 35, Charles Waller, all in on the tackle. But uh, that showed some quickness on the part of Demetrius Robinson. Jerry Coleman, a very quick young back. There you see that he couldn't get away, tried to spin back, and Robinson <laughs> said, no, nah, don't even try it, son. Demetrius is a pretty strong youngster. He just literally picked him up and moved him backwards three or four yards. You had Demetrius at 5'8", 20 going against Jerry Coleman at 5'8", 160. <laughs> uh, he outweighs him by quite a bit. Uh, but again, that showed the quickness of both young men yeah. uh, as they, they try to maneuver over there. We had a third down now in 14. Coleman is deep at power eye. Quick inside, Trey Rochelle gets across down to about the 32. He's gonna be considerably short of the first down. They had to get down to the 24 for the first down. But Rochelle been tackled by Fred Cornelius, number 19. I almost 19. think uh, Ross will probably go for this, Sean, fourth and seven. I, they're down to the 31 yard line of the Razorbacks. And Coach Thornton is wanting a timeout to consider his options. And while he takes a timeout, with 6.42 to go here in the first period, it's still 0 0. We're going to take one more timeout. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. If you live, work, worship, or attend school in Bowie, Cass, Marion, or Miller counties, you can become a member of Domino Federal Credit Union. Need a low cost loan? Personal, auto, motorcycle, boat, RV, vacation, real estate. We take care of all your loan needs. Make your life easier. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. Federally insured by NCUA, equal housing lender. Yes, folks, that Gary Cherry that you just saw in that spot is my partner up here in the booth. And uh, Gary, I know that you're another one of the volunteers that gives your time. We so appreciate you. We're what here. It takes. Takes, we'll, takes all these volunteers, Sean. That's right. There you see some of the fans here excited about this game. It's fourth and eight. The Tigers are going for it. Back Charles right back to pass. He's under pressure, unloads it. And all oh, three players went up, including uh, Opaline Moore and, and Jimmy Moore of the Razorbacks and Michael Holmes of the Tigers. Nobody came down with it. The Razorbacks will take over on downs. A risky play, hey, but you a have good to, play. You, you, he threw it there, and uh, if he had a chance, one of three to maybe him catching it because the ball was right there in the middle of him, and uh, you have to take those chances. And really, the ball is at the Razorbacks' 30-yard line, 31-yard line or so. So really, it's no worse than a punt. So. Yeah. Uh, and even though they didn't convert, that says something about Coach Thornton's uh, confidence in his quarterback to, to go for that. You had third and long, fourth and long. And so Marty Cherry's under center for the Razorbacks. Hands off to number 22. And that is Jerry Hubbard. And he goes off left tackle and court brought down by Corey Thurman out at about the 37 yard line. And Jerry Coleman also in on the tackle. 
Texas High, if one thing is a problem for Texas High, it's depth. They have a lot of experience, but their depth as far as experience is limited, and they have a lot of players that play both ways. You saw Jerry Coleman, Corey Thurman, uh, Michael Holmes, uh, a number of them play both ways, and that could play later in the season. We've got second down and six. Hand off to Corey Thurman, excuse me, hand off to Jerry Hubbard for the Razorbacks. He gets out to about the 39 yard line. Should be about it, bring up about a third down and three. Again, Jerry Hubbard, the type ball player, does not have the great speed, but he has the quickness and uh, that second sense, so to speak, to find the openings. And he got three or four yards on something that uh, may have not been one or two in, in most other players. So. Uh, Jerry Hubbard again will be a player that uh, will be a plus this year for the Razorbacks along with Demetrius Robinson, Oflin and Jimmy Moore and some others for the Razorbacks. Third down and three. Mark Cherry picks back to Jerry Hubbard and he has got a host of Tigers over there, Matty. The it was sealed off by number 34, uh, Brandon Skinner. The tackle made by number 44, Roderick Pitts. Uh, they, they just shut down that left side and, and again that shows you the thing that the, this Arkansas high team is missing is that speed that is a threat on the corner. That's right. They don't uh, have the great speed now. They have to compensate for good quickness and uh, available uh, being able to read the blocks and uh, I know Hubbard and uh, Robertson can certainly do that. Fred Cornelius a uh, good punt. Michael Holmes takes it on the 26 yard line and he's met and he drops, fumbles the ball, it's loose. Let's see who comes up with it. Razor the Bikes. Razorbacks get it. Another break. Arkansas High recovers at the 18 yard line. I don't know if we can see who's on the bottom of that pile. Number 84. 84 for the Razorbacks is Chris, Chris Lee, Lee, 165 pound senior on special teams. As Michael Holmes took the ball and took, went around right side. Let's see if we can see this. Lose the ball right there. And number 68, Lorenzo Paxton was the first man to cut off and seal off the corner. A bad break for the Tigers, a good break for the Razorbacks with 4.22 to go in the, in the first half. They get the ball first and 10 on the 19 yard line they mark it. Marty Cherry's back to pass. Oh, the incomplete, he tried to get to Demetrius Robinson. It would have been basically no gain, so it's just as well that he dropped that. But uh, number 55, Corey Thurman, was really putting the pressure on Cherry, and Corey's a little shaken up as he comes off the field to the near side. Let's watch number 55, Corey Thurman. He's going to come in from the, the left no side there. No blocking on this man right here except for the corner block. Yeah, John Henry Arnold was left all alone to try and deal with him. Corey Thurman is considerably quicker than John Henry. Oh, yeah. Arnold's got uh, size on him, but uh, the Razorbacks got second down and 10 from the 19. They really need to capitalize on this. It would really do a big boost for them. This is their third uh, fumble opportunity, and you're right. You need to capitalize on these opportunities. And we've got motion. Flags, on the play. Flags are all over the field. And you do not need those type of penalties when you're that close into scoring areas, but that's football. That's high school football. The illegal and, uh, procedure. Now, I don't know if it was on the interior line, but I do know that number 25, uh, the wingback, Ken Tyson, as he started to come back, he then turned and ran even with the line. And I know once you begin going back, you've got to stay at that angled run. We've got a timeout on the field with 4.14 to go here in the first period. The Arkansas High Razorbacks are at the 24 yard line of Texas High. We'll take a break. The road to financial freedom is waiting for you at Millway Federal Credit Union. It's obvious why so many residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller counties are making Millway their financial institution. Millway strives to offer services at lower cost with attractive rates to ensure you, the member, earn more and save more every day. Reconnect with your money and feel good again. At Millway, it's your way. Locations in Ashdown and Texarkana, Arkansas, and Texarkana, Texas. Membership available to all residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller County. Federally insured by NCUA. Equal House Lender. So that 
Second down and 15. Marty Terry back to pass for the Razorbacks. He's under pressure. Steps up inside it. Good move. Step up inside. He's got tripped you sell. Oh, oh no. touchdown! Touchdown! There are no flags. Touchdown, Arkansas High Razorbacks. A great play by Marty Cherry to step up inside. He was contained deep in his own backfield. Trip Fusell worked his way across the end line, right on the goal line, and Cherry hitting with a perfect strike. And with 4.04 to play here in the first half, the Razorbacks draw first blood. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why that young man is recruited so highly by the University of Texas. The all-important extra point, Sean, is always important in this series. Fred Cornelius, who has been very dependable the last couple of years in this, balls down. The kick is no good. We've got a penalty. I think we've got a roughing call. I uh, guess the catch. exactly. There you saw the catch by Fusell. Tripp did an excellent job. He started off on the other side and just worked his way across the goal line. It's like the old sand line when you get back in sand line and you're trying to get open and run across one direction, and uh, that's exactly what happened. He broke away two defenders and was able to catch Tripp Bazell right at the two-yard line. He just fell into the end zone. Okay, we did have a roughing call on the Tigers. Coach Royce Thornton just bowing his head, just shaking, and he, he's frustrated at this point over that. You, that's something you don't want to see. Physical mistakes, but mental mistakes like that, uh, of knowing when to pull back. You like the intensity, but there are, you need to teach the players. And he's, there you see Fred Cornelius right through the middle, and he even split the buses. Oh, yes, split the buses. It's about 28, 30 buses out in the parking lot. So Arkansas High leads 7-0 with 4.04 to play. We're going to take a break and bring it back to you from Grimm Stadium. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. If you live, work, worship, or attend school in Bowie, Cass, Marion, or Miller counties, you can become a member of Domino Federal Credit Union. Need a low-cost loan? Personal, auto, motorcycle, boat, RV, vacation, real estate. We take care of all your loan needs. Make your life easier. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. Federally insured by NCUA, equal housing lender. In a world of everyday checking accounts, we're offering more, so much more. Red River Federal Credit Union presents the Member's Choice Premier Account featuring no per check charges, cell phone insurance, ID theft protection, and credit file monitoring with shopping, travel, and entertainment rewards and discounts. Plus, peace of mind with fraud reimbursement. Open your Member's Choice Premier Account this summer only at Red River Federal Credit Union. Monthly fee will apply. You see some of the fans here. They're excited. The Arkansas side waving the flags as they've drawn first blood on a tr outstanding play as Marty Cherry scrambled, stepped up in the pocket, and hit Trip Fusell, who worked his way open for the TD. Now Fred Cornelius will kick off to Jerry Coleman, who is deep for the Tigers, along with Good and Coleman's going to take it Good at the goal line. Comes out across the 10 to the 20, 25, and he's met by a host of Ravens and backs, including Fred Cornelius, uh, including number 68, uh, Lorenzo Paxton. There you see some of the Tiger excited as uh, they are showing some of the t-shirts that have been, I've seen more t-shirts and, and hats the last couple of days as these folks have been excited about what's happening here. Good run back Good by run. Jerry Coleman all the Had way out run. to the 27 yard line, almost 28. As actually, they get pretty good field position given the, an excellent kickoff. Charles Ray brings him up. Coleman quick off the left tackle and he's met there by 74 Rod Van as well as uh, number 50 Cedric Daniels. He gets to the 30 yard line. They're calling, somebody is injured. 
One of the Arkansas players, Charles Wallers, calling for somebody to be brought in real quickly. Says, That's I'm Rod Van. <laughs> Rod Van's kind of limping. He said, yeah, he said, keep me in, coach. I'm not hurt. Put Leroy in. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second down and seven as Coleman gained three on that. Again, Charles Ray's the quarterback. Trey Rochelle is the fullback. And this is number 43, LaJonte James, as, as he takes a, on a wing back around, and he couldn't get anything and lost it back to the 27. Number 76, uh, strong there was Phillip Williams again. Phillip Williams has been mentioned quite a bit tonight, uh, Sean, uh, for the Razorbacks on the defense. And uh, that youngster ran a lot to get almost any, no, maybe one yard out of it, possibly. Jonte Jane, the transfer from uh, Liberty Island High School. And I know that Coach David Reams is missing him because he was one of their uh, outstanding players last year. He really was. He's a, he's a fine ball player. He can do play both sides. Charles Waller, number 35, was hurt on this play. And he's limping off the field. And there you see the finish of that play there. It's going to bring third down and about eight, a long eight, maybe nine for the uh, Tigers. They've got Michael Holmes wide right. Back to throw. Craig Monroe wide left. Oh, good pressure. Oh, Ooh. Monroe made it. Just missed making an outstanding catch. And Charles Ray was just leveled by number 19, Fred Cornelius. Uh, he just, just as he let go of the ball, he was leveled by Cornelius. I don't know if you can Bottom see it here. Screen, right? right there. And Craig Monroe just, just over the outstretched fingers as he tried to get the feet in and tried to, to make that catch. So it's fourth down and they're going to have to punt. Deep for the Razorbacks is number 24, Jimmy Moore. He's standing at about the 45 and the officials have stopped the play. Timeout. They're calling timeout on the Texas side. A little confusion as to who's supposed to be out there. So Texas High takes a timeout. And while we have this timeout, Let's take a break. It's got, we've got 224 to go. And hold it now. Let's not take a break. We're here. It doesn't look like we're going to be using all of this time. Coach Royce Thornton just had a little confusion. He had to call timeout to get the right players out there. And we're not going to really have enough time to break away from this. Gary, we've got just over two minutes to go. We're at 224 mark here in the first half. A capacity crowd. It's 7 to nothing Razorbacks. I'm sure that the Texas high was stunned. They really believe that their Tigers could march on the Razorback defense. Well, I'll tell you what, the, the Tigers have moved the football, and Trey Rochelle has run excellent tonight. And uh, I tell you, it's going to. We still got two quarters of football to play, and it's only seven nothing. But right now, the Tigers will be punting back to the Razorbacks with two minutes 24 seconds left here in the second quarter. All right. No rush. Basher with the kick, a low kick. And Jimmy Moore takes it, bobbles it, gets it at his own 33. And he couldn't turn the corner because of Michael Holmes, the speedster, and Skip Shaw. You had two guys who could fly that were out there covering excellent coverage by the Tigers. And the uh, Razorbacks take over at their own 36. Here's Gary. Gary, you look like Gary Underwood's uh, old hair do, wasn't it, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, so, we do appreciate Gary Underwood as you see this, uh, this play as Jimmy Moore gathered the ball in. Michael Holmes right there. And, Good uh, play with those two guys for, excellent for the play. Tigers. There's Gary Underwood's hairdo, folks. Uh, Gary Underwood, our, the executive vice president of KBSC TV. <laughs> Good man. All right, inside quick to Demetrius Robinson. Good run. Good run, Demetrius. He's down inside the 45 to about the 47 yard line. That's the kind of power we used to see from a 44 last year right. named Derek Blair. Derek Blair. Oh, folks, I, that, that young man, I tell you, I believe two. Two bulls could try to tackle him, and they would be—he'd be dragging him down the street. I don't think anyone will forget who won. There you see Robinson; he's filling some pretty big shoes as he wears that same number. Yep. Last year, the the playoff game against Fort Smith. Fort Smith. Derek Blair went what 54, 55 yards, one foot short. As of the a clock touchdown. ran out for the first half. <laughs> but he broke probably seven, eight, nine tackles getting down there. One of the classic runs of 1993. And he's playing in the EIC, too. He's playing the EIC, one of the UCA, I believe, that's where he's playing this year. Well, good. We've got first down and 10 at the 47. 
Jerry Hubbard breaks up inside, and he gets across midfield down to the 44-yard line. Good run by Jerry. That's the kind of run that Jerry Hubbard is known for. He'll get that opening, and he'll break it. And doesn't have that sharp, sharp speed, but he's a smart runner. Watch this. There's one thing that was interesting about this. He got turned sideways and kept moving. A lot of runners will turn sideways and have to square their shoulders back up. Jerry was able to keep the feet moving forward even though his shoulders were turned sideways. There you see some of the Texas High fans wearing some kind of a head bandana, uh, a show of loyalty for their school. But we've got a second down and one at the 44-yard line of the Tigers for the Razorbacks. Timeout. And a timeout is called by Coach Johnny Toons. We're going to take a timeout. We've got a minute 13 to go here. It's 7 0 in favor of the Arkansas High Razorbacks. We'll be right back with you after word from one of our sponsors. This broadcast of KLFI TV's Texarkana Football Classics is brought to you by these fine Texarkana sponsors BCS Business Communication Systems, Carmichael's Custom Jewelry. Chicken Express, Cooper Service, Domino Federal Credit Union, Millway Federal Credit Union, Red River Credit Union, Ross and Schomeyer Elder Law Attorneys, and Sonic America's Drive-In. Back here at uh, Grimm Stadium, 7-0 Razorbacks. The Razorbacks facing a second and one from the Tigers 44. This is Gary Cherry along with Sean McMahon bringing you this exciting first game of the year, high school football, Texarkana. The Razorbacks of Arkansas High playing the Texas High Tigers. And as we've got a second down and one, and Marty Cherry brings the Razorbacks up. Pitch back. That's Half back Fred Cornelius, and he's unloading, and it's intercepted by Craig Monroe at the four-yard line. He was back there playing, covering Mark Smith out of the backfield, but he looked like he was playing center field, just waiting for the ball, and Smith had to turn and become a defensive player. So a trick play, as you might call it, by the Razorbacks does not achieve its purpose. First turnover for the Razorbacks, and it's uh, as good as a punt, but the Tigers have it with a minute five left in this second uh, quarter, Sean, and anything can happen. If there is a positive for Coach Toombs and the Razorbacks, it is that they've got him down at the six-yard line. If it's a negative, it's that they lost control of the ball. They were marching. Oh, they yeah. were moving That's it down. True. And uh, they you have like time. To, you like to score if you can before that uh, first half comes it in. All right, Charles Ray's got the Tigers down there, and he's going to has to play conservative inside. Quick inside, Troy Rochelle, big hole. Rochelle's going. He's down to the 45, to the 50, to the 45, and he's brought down by Jimmy Moore on a shoestring catch, tackle up before he gets down to the 34, 35 yard line. That's exactly the what happens. A pickup of 70 yards. Right. Excuse me, 60 yards for this young man. A 60 yard run by Trey Rochelle, the big fullback. Rochelle comes in at about 6'1, 6'2, 220 pounds. And look at that, he just keeps running. Miss tackles in that uh, secondary. All right. Charles Ray's got him down at the 36 yard line, first and 10. Hand off to Jerry Coleman, cuts inside, and he's met by. Uh, two of the Razorbacks, he's got 74, Rod Van, and 76, Philip Williams, who cut him off. The ball's at the 35. We're going to give him a game of one. 34 seconds left in the first half. Clock moving for the Tigers. I don't believe they have any timeouts left. They do not. They have no timeouts left. Ray needs to get the ball thrown out of bounds. Oh, he's leveled behind the line of scrimmage by Charles Waller as he just leveled him and also I don't believe they'll have a time to back in there. We got 13 regroup. seconds. I don't know if they can get a playoff. They're going to sure try. And Charles Ray, we have an incomplete pass as he was able to.
throw the ball, throw the ball the down, but he got thrown down by Fred Cornelius. There's four seconds to go. We had an out. This has been some exciting football in the last minute of play. As Coach Johnny Toombs and the Arkansas High team calls the timeout, that's a big advantage for Royce Thornton. But I know Johnny also doesn't want to give up a big play with four seconds to go. The Razorbacks gave the ball up to the Tigers, and they had them pinned down at their own five-yard line. But on a quick opener off the right tackle, or the, excuse me, a left tackle that he's gone over so many times, Trey Rochelle goes 60 yards. Well, i tell you one thing. If I was uh, Denny Burdine, I would buy Jimmy Moore Coca-Cola because he would, he had a game shoe tackle there that our game uh, saving touchdown tackle on uh, that youngster. You know, it's, it's interesting you would mention Coca-Cola here, Terry. <laughs> we mentioned off the offside oh, yeah. Pizza Inn providing pizzas. We want to also thank J.T. Smith and the Coca-Cola Bottling Company here of Texarkana for providing soft drinks for the entire volunteer crew. I also want to thank uh, Cecil Phillips and his wife Francis at Doughboy Donuts. They provided donuts for the crew tonight, so we appreciate Cecil and Francis of Phillips Doughboy Donuts. All right, we have got four seconds to go. The ball's on the 40-yard line. Two receivers split out wide right. Draw a little confusion in the backfield. Raise He unloads it, and it's intercepted by Opheline Moore. He's just going to protect the ball, but he's got a lot of field in front of him, and he's brought down by Skip Shaw and Corey Thurman, and that's going to end the first half. But exciting first half. A very exciting last minute, especially in the first half. You're going to see Charles Ray right here as he Goes back, little almost stumbled, got his composure. Look, he had Michael Holmes open, but it got tipped by Demetrius Robinson. Hopefully Moore gets a look at him. He's got both hands on the ball. He's just saying, I'm not going to drop the ball. And so that's the end of the first half from Grimm Stadium to score. Arkansas High Razorback seven, Texas High Tigers zero. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with you in just a few moments. Before you make your dreams come true and purchase your dream car, tell your dealer to send your loan to Red River Credit Union. We offer on-the-spot financing right at the dealership, or you can get pre-approved face-to-face at any of our local branches or online at rrfcu.com. We have great rates and a variety of terms on new and used vehicles. Go from strolling to rolling at Red River Credit Union. Visit us online at rrfcu.com. Red River Credit Union, we exist to serve you. The road to financial freedom is waiting for you at Millway Federal Credit Union. It's obvious why so many residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller counties are making Millway their financial institution. Millway strives to offer services at lower cost with attractive rates to ensure you, the member, earn more and save more every day. Reconnect with your money and feel good again. At Millway, it's your way. Locations in Ashdown and Texarkana, Arkansas, and Texarkana, Texas. Membership available to all residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller County. Federally insured by NCUA. Equal House Lender. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Begin your halftime. We present Clint Dry, the 1994 95 Arkansas High Razorback Red
Mrs. Owen, if they want it. Andy? Mm -hmm. And now, for your continued
Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. If you live, work, worship, or attend school in Bowie, Cass, Marion, or Miller counties, you can become a member of Domino Federal Credit Union. Introducing Domino Rewards Checking. It's simply the safest and smartest way to protect your finances. Benefits include free gift cards, free teller checks, and free skip a payment on your loans. Plus, receive cell phone and identity theft protection and much, much more. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. Federally insured by NCUA. Equal housing lender.
color guard. They are Krista Sanders, Ellie Williams, Nikita Jones, Latanya McCray, Krista Pope. This year's champion, Autumn Richardson, Dolly McDonald, Meredith McClung, Kim Walker, Catherine Kimbrough, Jennifer Rutledge, Amy Kidd, Carmen Maxey, September Calhoun, and Sabrina Dalberry. Our color guard is under the direction of Philip Z. And we'll now perform a rapper routine that Carlos Santana, Evil Way. Bad boys up! One, three, one, two, three, four! This broadcast of KLFI TV's Texarkana Football Classics is brought to you by these fine Texarkana sponsors. BCS Business Communication Systems, Carmichael's Custom Jewelry, Chicken Express, Cooper Service, Domino Federal Credit Union, Millway Federal Credit Union, Red River Credit Union, Ross and Schomeyer Elder Law Attorneys, and Sonic America's Drive-In.
And there we see the Razorbacks coming back through. As we get ready for the start of the second half. And again, here come the Tigers of Texas High. The fans are on their feet on both sides of the stadium and they're pumping up their teams. This ball game is nowhere close to being over. We've got, there's some young fans that are excited. We've got some first half stats that we want to show you in just a moment here. The score is seven to zero in favor of the Razorbacks. There you see, it's a fairly even game in a lot of ways. That 140 yards from Texas High is a little deceiving given that you had 60 of it on one play by uh, Trey Rochelle near the end of the first half. But uh, as you can see, Texas High did not complete any passes through the air, whereas Arkansas High was able to get two of five for 29 yards. First downs, Texas High leads five to four, but they got three of their first downs in the first five minutes of the game. That's true, and uh, it's, it was a type of game. The defense uh, on both sides of the line, for the Tigers and the Razorbacks played extremely tough and uh, a lot of excitement. Typical high school football, Sean. It's great to start the season with this Arkansas High-Texas High rivalry. But if you look on there, Gary, there's one of the keys. Second line from the bottom, the right-hand side, four turnovers for Texas High and one of them really bit them. Without a doubt, and of course, the Razorbacks were able to capitalize and score on only, only one of those four, and the Tigers certainly, uh, with the two turnovers, were not able to capitalize at all. And again, let me remind the folks, we had a great halftime show, and we want to really thank uh, the band directors at both Arkansas High and Texas High for a great halftime show, the Red Line for the Razorbacks, and uh, the, the High, high Steppers, Steppers for the Tigers, and uh, great halftime performance and we really do thank those folks because it was a great halftime show. It sure was and we're so appreciative of those who give the time. You know, we talk about these athletes on the field, these uh, youngsters that participate in the band and the drill squads and the those, they put a tremendous number of hours. Well, that's Ross Thornton talking to one of the Tiger players and uh, number 15 for the Tigers. Michael Holmes, and uh, he's trying to get things worked out because we're getting ready to start this uh, last half of action, Sean, seven nothing Razorbacks. You know, Gary, as we get ready to start this half real quickly, we do appreciate all of the volunteers that, that help us. Uh, we've got a long list working in our production truck. We've got, as always, our, exec our executive producer, Gary Underwood, our assistant producer, Andy Dean, Larry Cranks, our technical director, Arthur Christie's doing graphics. Janet Huckabee's doing the video. Mike Treadway is doing our statistics. Nancy Wade's doing the audio. Ron Gabbard's doing videotape replay. Cameras are manned by Beck Morgan, Ed Cheshire, Randy Hickman, Burns Barr, David Simmons. Field assistants are Stephen Huff, Tammy Hickman, and Kurt Underwood. And our spotter is Shane Mills. I'm Sean McMahon. My co-host here is Gary Cherry. We're ready for the start of the second half. Texas High is going to kick it off, and that is T.R. Vasher ready to kick off. Deep for Arkansas High is Jimmy Moore and uh, Elbert Kelly. It's taken by the up man, and Moore takes it to the right side, cuts back inside, got a big hole. Jimmy Moore, big hole, cut back. He's, He's down to the 50, He's gone. to the 45, to the 40, to the 30, to the 25, and down at the 24-yard line. The man playing free safety back here was Michael Holmes, number 15, and he saved a touchdown. Great and run. And how many times last year, Gary Terry, did we see Corey Kelly. Corey Kelly take the handoff? This is a typical return. A little misdirection. Hopefully Moore take hands the it cameraman off. out. And Jimmy Moore, good job. Jimmy Moore good got cut. good speed. And right there, we thought he was gone. We had one man playing free safety. The blocker couldn't get him, but the Razorbacks on a great return get the ball at the 24-yard line, first and 10. Now Johnny Toombs and his crew want to capitalize. Marty Cherry is under center. Hands off to number 23, Jerry Hubbard. Big hole off the inside, inside the 15-yard line, down to the 13. A pickup of 11 yards. Good Big run. Big for Jerry Hubbard. Good. Hubbard fighting the seam. And that offensive line, good blocking up front by the Razorbacks on that offensive line. You've got Clint Jones, Joey Martin, Bill Green, Jay, John Henry Arnold, and Rod Van at the ends, hopefully more in Trip Fazell. And you've got to have blocking for those running backs to get that seam, and he had a good run. All right. It's time for the defense. And Corey Thurman, one of the stalwarts for the Texas High defense, is coming off holding his arm, kind of limp. He's, well, he seems to be okay. 
winded for some reason. Quick inside, number 44, Demetrius Robinson. He's inside the 10. They're going to mark it just inside the 10. He's pushed back by number 22 for the Tigers. That's Eli Bridges. And number 44 is Roderick Pitts. But a gain of about almost five. We're going to say a long four, so we'll say second and six at the nine-yard line. Here's a there. replay on the uh, Hubbard run that uh, was first down run that he made. Cut back uh, toward the middle and uh, got good yardage. This could be a very, very critical time right now for the Tigers as they need to hold the Razorbacks. On the other side of the ball, the Razorbacks want to score. We see Hubbard gets it inside the 10 again, and he's down to about the eight. They may mark it at the seven. And they are, they're gonna mark it just about the seven and a half. That's gonna bring up third down. They gotta get four. just inside the four. So you're gonna say third down and about four. Big third down play. Again, the defense for the Tigers are being tested early in this third quarter after that big run. And uh, the Tigers defense has played tough, tough all night long for Royce Thornton. Split out one side, number 82 trip to sell. Number 25, Ken Tyson's a wing back. Backs are Jerry Hubbard, 22, and 44 is Demetrius Robinson. And Marty Cherry did not like what he saw and wisely calls a timeout. The first timeout here of the second half. We've got 9.59 to go. It's 7-0 to zero with the Razorbacks threatening inside the 10. We'll be right back after a word from one of our sponsors. In a world of everyday checking accounts, we're offering more, so much more. Red River Federal Credit Union presents the Member's Choice Premier Account featuring no per check charges, cell phone insurance, ID theft protection, and credit file monitoring with shopping, travel, and entertainment rewards and discounts. Plus, peace of mind with fraud reimbursement. Open your Member's Choice Premier Account this summer only at Red River Federal Credit Union. Monthly fee will apply. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. If you live, work, worship, or attend school in Bowie, Cass, Marion, or Miller counties, you can become a member of Domino Federal Credit Union. Introducing Domino Rewards Checking. It's simply the safest and smartest way to protect your finances. Benefits include free gift cards, free teller checks, and free skip a payment on your loans. Plus, receive cell phone and identity theft protection and much, much more. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. Federally insured by NCUA, Equal Housing Lender. We're back with you here at Grimm Stadium. The Texas High Tigers are in uh, basically like a goal line stance. They've got, it's third down and four for the Razorbacks. We've got number 81, Chad Waddell out wide. Inside handoff. He's down to the two yard Robinson line. Robinson gets down to the two yard line. That's gonna be the first down. It's a blast play up the middle. And again, that inside quick handoff has worked for both teams. Very well, that, that, that quick opener off tackle. First and goal from the two. There you see it. And he just goes off that left guard and tackle hole. Good, good blocking up for the Razorbacks. No, Robbie McIntyre, the offensive line coach for the Razorbacks, certainly pleased on the uh, offensive line firing off the ball for the uh, offense. Jerry Hubbard still on his feet inside the two, and they're going to mark it down at about the in between the two and the one. The original line of scrimmage was almost the three. So they're going to give him about a yard. Again, the offensive line for the Razorbacks, Sean, center Bill Green at the guard position, John Henry Arnold, Joey Martin, Clint Jones, and Rod Van at the guard positions. In the end positions, uh, Ophelia Moore and Trip Fazell. And uh, again, you've got to have that up front blocking to open the door for the running backs for the Razorbacks. We've got second and goal from the two as Tigers are all making sure they've got all their blocking assignments set. And Jerry Hubbard gets the ball, and he is caught. Hey, the Tigers playing Tigers. tough. And at first one to him, number 76, Johnny Walker was the first one to get him. The Tigers are really closing in in that, uh, that up front there, Sean, and uh, they may have to go on the outside to get something into the end zone. You see, Walker just went right off his blocker, as did number 72. Uh, Jason Minter, and they they both went right off their their blockers to 
contain Jerry Hubbard. We've got third and goal from almost the three now. So basically no gain on that one. Quick pitch back to Hubbard. Student body right as they call it. He had nothing there. The Tigers did an excellent job excellent defending job. that. Pushed him back to the six yard line. And you know, I'm not going second guess, but you would wonder what has worked. It's been the quick openers up the middle right. with Demetrius Robinson. And uh, while you would have, you know, the school of thought is they're going to be plugging in the middle, but we've been opening it up as Johnny Toombs' side would be thinking. We've got 8.14 to go. It's fourth down and goal uh, from about the seven yard line. And Fred is, Cornelius is going to be kicking a field goal. It's going to be a 15, 25 yard attempt, 20, make it a 24 yard attempt. The ball is placed. It is up. No good. No good. Off to the left. He kind of hooked it. Defense for the Tigers after score A plus. They flat just held the Razorbacks out of the end zone. Had their backs against the wall from the kickoff and uh, did an outstanding job of holding them. And, and that defense for the Texas High Tigers really did an outstanding job. They're going to take over at their own. 20 yard line. Second guess time now for the Razorbacks on that third down play. You you run to the on the outside play there. Plenty of room on that right side, but the blocking up that area was not real good, Sean. But again, you know, you tried two blast plays and uh, didn't get anything basically but about a yard. So you've got to try something element of surprise. All right, Charles Ray's got his he's got Skip Shaw in motion. Quick inside to Trey Rochelle. And he's still on his feet, and he gets out to the 25, a pickup of five. And Rochelle has had an outstanding game here tonight. Both the fullbacks have really played very well tonight. Gary and, and Rochelle has really showed something for Coach yeah. Royce Thornton. Yeah, Rochelle is a proven running back now. He's proved that tonight real quick like. And the Razorbacks, I know, are keying on him as he is going to be the spark plug uh, and has been so far tonight for the for the Tigers. Trey Rochelle has a pitch back to Jerry Coleman. He turns the corner and he's contained there. Contained first by Fred Cornelius and he's caught by number 40, who is uh, Herbert Jones. And falls back on his own man, but he gets the ball out to the 30 yard line. It may be enough for the first down. I believe it's gonna be. They're gonna mark it at 31. And that'll be a first down for Texas High as Jerry Coleman picks up five. We're starting to talk about Rochelle. He carried the ball eight times for 125 yards. Yeah. And oh. uh, that 60 yard run had a lot to do with that. But still, you're saying seven carries for 65 yards is an outstanding percentage. That's you a good night that for anyone in, uh, in a football game, high school, college, or whatever. First down from the 31. Charles Ray quick inside to Rochelle. He gets across the line. He picks up another six yards out to the 37. So Razorbacks on the tackle. There you see the uh, Texas High cheerleaders, pep leaders throwing orange footballs into the crowd. I don't believe they can get one up here, Sean. Well, we're, we're up here on uh, Craters Mountain. <laughs> I'm not saying we're high, but blimps go below us. You can see there us you up, can the see top us of the up there in the top of the booth. It's Burns Bar takes a picture from his field camera. We're in that middle box there. Both teams now have six first downs. We've got second and four. And a little mix up. Charles Ray keeps the ball, gets it out to the 41, and he may have enough for a first down. Looks like a busted play as he was looking for someone to hand it off to and had to turn it up. If that was an option, there you see us up here in the booth. Uh, uh, we're bringing this game to you high up above the top of Grimm Stadium. We appreciate Burns Barr and, and his handheld camera down there on the field. As Charles Ray did pick up the first down, it gives the seventh first down for Texas High. They are on the march. We've got 6.25 to go here in the third period. It's 7-0 Arkansas High. An excellent goal line stand gave the Tigers back the ball. I see a pass here, Sean, is there. Pitch back to pitch Coleman. Back. He goes off the left side. Big hole up tackle. Coleman breaks it inside. And a shoestring tackle by number 40, Herbert Jones, may have saved a touchdown as Coleman was turning on the burners. Pick up of 10 yards as he gets out to the 49 inside of 50 yard line. That's and Mr. Barr as our ABC Sports Bar is what I call him. <laughs> there you see Coleman <laughs> stepped inside. Excellent job by Coleman. 
Coleman is 5'8", and he's limping up. Looks like he's got a Charlie horse. Yeah, I imagine. He's holding the leg first. Looks like a leg cramp. Yeah, he's going to have to have a little rub down to get that cramp out. Coleman's 5'8", 160. Mike's about... Uh, two or three inches? Two or three inches. About, yeah, about three inches possibly. About the nose of the football. About the nose of the official. <laughs> As we started to say, Jerry Coleman has uh, is very compact, uh, much like uh, uh, what's the Sanders fellow's name up at Detroit? Played for Oklahoma State. Uh, Barry? Barry Sanders. Yeah, Coleman's built much like Barry Sanders was, and uh, a lot of speed. Good young back. He's spelled right now by number 20, Fabian Phillips, a sophomore. Charles Ray takes the ball. And Ray on, a, on the keeper gets. He didn't need much. He, he may have, may got have that. had it. It's all going to mark, depending on the spot of the ball. And Ray is down. He may have a little cramp, too. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a little cramp. Those no. muscle cramps. I don't know if that's a cramp or, or an ankle. He He's awful gingerly on it. And the trainer's coming in. and I gave you the wrong player a moment ago. One Roger Shepard. Magic man. This man here, Roger Shepard, is a magician extraordinaire, folks. Along with his wife, Debbie Shepard. Number 20 for Texas High's Jason Murphy, who spelled uh, Jerry Coleman. They're attending to, there you see the capacity crowd here on the Texas High side. They're attending to Charles Ray uh, right now out down there on the field. And uh, New quarterback for the Texas High Tigers is going to be number seven, Craig Jenkins. Uh, and again, as Royce Thornton went through the preseason conditioning and, and preparations, he said it was a toss-up for much of the uh, fall practice between uh, Craig Jenkins and Coach Mina, Ray Mina, been at Texas High for quite a few years. Fine, fine man. All right, we've got third down and one, a very, actually third down and in inches for the Texas High. Pursuit, pursuit. And Coleman is, he's caught in the backfield by number 15. That is Albert Kelly that drug him down. He had excellent pursuit. Cedric Daniels was back there. Uh, Rod Van was back there. And a loss of 15 yards on a third down and in inches. That is not what they wanted to do. And I know Coach Thornton is not happy. Well, with a new that. quarterback in there, you have those situations that can happen. And uh, this is one of them. A good pursuit by the defense. They just flat close it off right there. Okay, it's uh, fourth down and 16 for just under five minutes to go. Deep for the Razorbacks at his own 35 is Jimmy Moore. Basher to punt and just barely got it away. Almost had okay, a run, good roll. managed to good roll as it gets down to the 20 yard line and that's where Michael Holmes will down it. And so it's first and 10 from their own 20 yard line. We'll be right back with you in just a moment. It's seven to zero in favor of the Razorbacks. The road to financial freedom is waiting for you at Millway Federal Credit Union. It's obvious why so many residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller counties are making Millway their financial institution. Millway strives to offer services at lower cost with attractive rates to ensure you, the member, earn more and save more every day. Reconnect with your money and feel good again. At Millway, it's your way. Locations in Ashdown and Texarkana, Arkansas, and Texarkana, Texas. Membership available to all residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller County. Federally insured by NCUA. Equal housing lender and there we see it as Jerry, Jerry Hubbard. Hubbard takes the ball off of the right end Al Bridges with the tackle for it was first and ten and a pickup of about four so it's going to be second and six as they mark it at the 24 yard line a big break for the Arkansas High Razorbacks. Third and an inch. I tell you, that happens when the Razorbacks were down there third and goal from the three. So 
It's kind of it's kind of flip flopped in this particular quarter so far. The, the Tigers were marching, Sean, and uh, and uh, the Razorbacks' defense, I think, really really played tough that last series. And Brent Cornelius is in for Demetrius Robinson as he went limping off. We got two wideouts, Hubbard in the slot, and he takes the ball, goes back up the middle, gets to the 29 yard line. He's going to be just less than a yard shy of the first down. It's going to bring up a third and one. Sean, once again, we want to thank, uh, here's a replay of that run. I want to thank uh, Coca-Cola Bonding Company, J.T. Smith and the crew, Pizza Inn for feeding the all-volunteer crew, and Cecil and Francis uh, Phillips at Doughboy Donuts on uh, West 7th Street for the donuts. Uh, cinnamon Rose to feed the all-volunteer crew because if you don't feed them, you don't get a lot of work out of them. <laughs> we know that, and we do appreciate it. We've got third and one, <laughs> Jerry Hubbard off the right tackle. He got the first down. We've got a, play, a flag on the play thrown at about the 31-yard line. Maybe Hubbard holding. got out to the 34, which would be enough for the first down. Maybe holding against the Razorback. And all they no, say the Razorback players are, calling, are saying it's against Tigers. Texas High. Maybe great face man. No. We've offside. got offsides against Texas Tigers. High. Looked like one of the Tiger linemen, 72, looked like Jason Minter jumped. I didn't realize he got across the line. Let's see. The, the penalty is declined, and it's a first and 10 for the Razorbacks at the their own 34-yard line. Three minutes, nine seconds on that third quarter clock. Razorbacks still have a 7-0 lead, Sean. And again, it's uh, a lot of time left in this ball game for things to happen. Jerry Hubbard's got over 50 yards now of rushing inside it. There's Craig Cornelius, big hole, and he gets over the 45 to about the 47-yard line. That'll be enough for a first down, a pickup of about 13 yards. Another another good run playmaker for the Razorbacks is Fred Cornelius. He can come in there and relieve Hubbard or some of the other running backs for the Razorbacks, Sean, and he's a key, good key yardage for that young man. It seems to me, Gary, that both teams, the, the yardage they have gotten, as you see, uh, number 76 for the Tigers, that's Johnny Walker getting a little leg work. Both teams are getting it off the guard center combination, both sides is where they're getting the yardage. Jerry Hubbard goes around right side, stumbles, goes over midfield, gets down to the 48 yard line. He's gonna pick up about five yards. And tackle there by Jerry Coleman, number eight. This is a time consuming drive for the Razorbacks. It started on their own back near the 20, 23 or four yard line and they've moved it slowly upfield. They've burned time off the clock with 216 the clock moving here in the third quarter. Coach Toon would love to uh, move this particular drive in for some score. All right, we've got second down and six to go. Hand off to Hubbard off the right tackle. He gets almost around the corner, but he's brought down. But Jerry Coleman on the good play as Coleman came up from a secondary position, brought Hubbard down at the 47-yard line. There you see the clock, less than a minute and 50 to go. In the third period, it's 7-0 in favor of the Razorbacks. If you're Arkansas High, you're wanting this drive just to continue grinding it out because you use the clock, which is your enemy right now. Right. You don't want the clock. If you're Coach Toomey, you want to score. And if you're <laughs> if you're Coach Thornton, you're wanting to see more quick action and get that, that ball defense. back. I'm sure Coach Thornton does not want to see a score here and go into the fourth period trailing by more than one touchdown. Marty Cherry back to pass, hits. Number 84, that's Chris Lees. He's over the 40-yard line to the 39. That'll be enough for a Razorback first down. Chris Lee did a basic corner or down and out route and uh, Marty Cherry hitting right on the numbers. Chris Lee is a good by, receiver for the Razorback shot. It's met there by Craig Jenkins, the backup quarterback uh, brought down. Chris is a senior. He's about six foot uh, three, I believe, and has good hands. All right, we've got first and 10 from the 39 yard line for Arkansas High as they are driving into Texas High Territory. Uh -oh. Oh, fumble. fumble, fumble, and the question is who's got it? And the Tigers got it. There's the turnover. That's number 43 for Texas High. LeJonte Le Le James comes up with the ball and they get the ball on their own 37 yard line. I believe it's retained by the Razorbacks. Oh, they are yeah. saying the Razorbacks got it back. Excuse me, last. Let's, let's see where it is. It's uh, from the center to the quarterback. And, okay, uh, there you saw. 
Got about a three-yard gain, Sean. Yep. <laughs> well, Who gets I, credit for that? I think that was John Henry Arnold who ended it? up with okay. the ball. So John Henry got three yards. Uh, second down and seven. Jerry Hubbard off the right side, and again, he trips over. Uh, Trying to cut back inside and trips at the 44-yard line. He's down to 34 the 34-yard line. Down to the th gets down to it. They're going to put it just inside third, the 35. Five, yeah. It'll be third down and five. Hey, that's into the third quarter already, Sean. And at the end of the third period, it's seven to zero in favor of the Arkansas High Razorbacks. We'll be back with you for the fourth period in just one moment. This broadcast of KLFI TV's Texarkana Football Classics is brought to you by these fine Texarkana sponsors. BCS Business Communication Systems, Carmichael's Custom Jewelry, Chicken Express, Cooper Service, Domino Federal Credit Union, Millway Federal Credit Union, Red River Credit Union, Ross and Schomeyer, Elder Law Attorneys, and Sonic, America's Drive-In. And we're back with you, start of the fourth period. Marty Cherry takes the ball. Oh, mm. thrown over the head of number 84, Chris Lee. Pass was attempted for him. That's going to bring a fourth what down. What do you do now? And five. Fourth down decision time. Four you're down at the territory. 35. You're going to ha I think you're going to have to punt yeah. at this point. And that's what they look to be doing. I mean, a field goal attempt is going to be of uh, 52 yards if they don't. Cherry has completed three of six for 36 yards and a touchdown. Fred Carney is punting. Michael Holmes and Craig Monroe are at their own 15. And Fred kicks it straight zone. up. Oh, and it went into the end zone. It hit at about the four and got a top spin roll. So the Tigers will take over with 11.49 to go at their own 20. Royce Thornton is needing his troops to mount a drive here. They can. They still have plenty of time. They've got the uh, manpower in that backfield to do something, Sean. And, and right now, it's uh, the Tigers starting in this fourth quarter, their first possession of the fourth quarter. All right. Great crowd on hand, Sean. I just can't uh, thank the uh, Gary Adams, the Texas side uh, police chief, and Bob Harris and the Arkansas side police chief for the support of security here tonight. Quick inside to Trey Rochelle. He slipped and then was hit by number 19, uh, Fred Cornelius. Charles Ray is back in. He is limping slightly, but he is back in there at quarterback. And I don't know if he turned an ankle or has a, a leg cramp, but he is he's limping considerably as he's uh, getting back to the huddle. He, you won't be seeing him doing any keepers at this point. They've got second down and seven at their own 23. Oh. Pitch to Coleman. He picks it up after dropping the floor, and he is Good play hit. of a 73 Good content, for the containment. Razorbacks, Chad Rodan. Chad's a big man. He's 280-pound senior, and I wouldn't want him hitting me, Sean. They had good containment, and Rodan took him and just put Coleman back to the turf. Here's, a, here's what you call, folks, a Saturday morning wake-up call by Chad Rodan for the Tigers right here. Number 19, Fred Cornelius did the job of cutting him off, and then he woke up and... The high steppers didn't have anything to cheer about on that one. The trainer said the first thing at running back for the Tigers said, did you get that dump truck number? <laughs> <laughs> well, the Tigers are at their own 20 yard line back. They've got first and they've got third and 10. They need to make something happen on this play. They've got to keep the drive going. They've got 10 minutes and 20 seconds to go here in the game. Uh -oh, Mr. Mr. And Skip Shaw is brought down Great by, play by Charles the Waller, defense. number 35. And number 52, you've got to give Cedric him credit. Daniels. That's Cedric Daniels. I tell you, again, any any defensive team, Coach Danny Bernheim coaches, folks, you're going to get them. He's going to get them excited, and they're excited right now. Great defensive plays. And Basher's coming in. Rerun of that one. Again, the containment. The defense for the Arkansas High Razorbacks has stepped up and answered the call. Uh, 
this was a real concern for Coach Johnny Toombs. He did not know how his defense would react. And uh, he's got to be fairly pleased at this point. They bent and they bent and they bent, but they've not broken. Basher's back to kick. He's standing at his own two. We got a flag on the play. Oh, and he is taken Should out. There's the roughing. He was taken out by a big kick two. all the way down to the 34. But it's going to be there. We've got several flags down. It may have been. Uh, it may have been two different penalties. Roughing but that, the kicker. That roughing penalty. I know Coach Johnny Toombs is not going to be pleased with that because he got taken across by the shoulders. Illegal against. Look like a man left early. Left too early, and then roughing, roughing the, the kicker. kicker. So what do we do? We do it over again. Offsetting. Do it all over again. Very fortunate break for the Razorbacks uh, on that one. It wouldn't have made that much of a difference with the with the replay. Time. Replay, Sean. You're right. Game down. Will we replay? Now they they bring it back. Why they're bringing it back five yards? Well, that was the mark of the ball. Yeah, they had fourth and fifteen. Excuse me. Well, there's a break that they had the illegal man downfield too early, left too early. That's where he should have never dove in there, hit that youngster. Good call by the officials. Now they're stepping back. They're going to let him kick it. Yes, sir. Basher, a, short, a low putt, and Jimmy Moore takes it at the 49, and he's Whoa, cut down hit. by Craig Monroe good at the 45. Good play by Craig Monroe. And we're seeing several players grab the hamstrings. We got a lot of cramping going. It's very, very humid tonight. It's cool, the cool temperatures, but high humidity, and that can cause a lot of leg cramps. The Razorbacks get the ball at the 45 of the Tigers. They lead 7-0. to zero. We have 9.22 to go. There you see Craig Monroe does a good chop down on him, and Coach Johnny Toombs is wanting to see a, a time-consuming drive here, I'm sure. Coach Royce Thornton is wanting a break. He needs a T.O., a meaning turnover. Jerry Hubbard slips one, slips two, and he's hit by a mass of people. First guy that was in there, there was 76, Johnny Walker, and then Corey Thurman was in there and slipped him. Finally brought down by number 24, who is, uh, excuse me, that's Lamont Morgan for the Tigers, along with a whole host of assistants. Grand, again, in great pursuit by the Tigers' defense, Sean. They, are, again, have played tremendous defense. Anytime you ever score seven nothing by any of the two teams, you know here in the late, well, going into with eight minutes, 40 seconds left in the ball game, you've got some great defensive plays. And Coach Toombs, the, tech, uh, the Arkansas High Razorbacks has called a timeout. We've got 8.46 to go. We'll be back right after this break. At Red River Credit Union, we know everyone is looking for more convenience and less hassle. To help make life a little easier, we offer Red River Credit Union Express branches. Our Express branches are open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday to help get business done. You'll find an Express branch nearby with locations in Texarkana on Texas Boulevard, Walton Drive, and inside Central Mall. Convenience with a personal touch. At Red River Credit Union, we exist to serve you. We're back with you. The Razorbacks have a second down and nine from the 44-yard line of the Texas High Tigers. And Coach Royce Thornton and his Tigers are needing a defensive stand here. Marty Cherry under center. Quick inside to Demetrius Robinson. This time there's not much there. Nothing there. Good, As, good uh, play of that front up front of the defense. Number 76, the Johnny Walker was right there to make a stop along with number 24 for the Texas High Tigers. That's Lamont Morgan. Lamont uh, Morgan has played extremely well these last few plays for the Tigers on defense. And uh, that's what that's what it's going to take. The defense has to do their job right now. And that is to contain the Razorbacks. We've got a third down and seven. We've got two wide outs. And Marty Cherry's laid it up for hopefully more, and he could not get under it. There is one of the things that's going to bring up a fourth down. That's one of the things Coach Toombs has talked about. As there you see uh, Rebecca Nicholas, one of the cheerleaders for the Razorbacks. 
but it's one thing that Coach Toop talked about. We do, the, or his Arkansas high team does not have breakaway speed at the receivers. They've got some guys who can catch the ball, but they don't have a breakaway. So the Tigers got a break. They're going to get the ball back, it looks like, as Fred Cornelius punts, and it's taken at the 12 yard oh, line. So Good play down the field by number 27 for the Brazier backs, Mark, Mark Smith, Smith. As he took down Craig Jenkins. Yeah, Richard and Debbie, uh, Richard and uh, Debbie Smith's son, Mark, he was downfield, and that's what it takes to get out there quickly, and he contained his man and brought him down. So the Tigers now have the football back with 7.57 left in the ballgame, Sean. 7 0 Razorbacks. And Craig Jenkins is in at quarterback now. Charles Ray's ankle's just not going to let him keep going. Well, he was hobbling too much, Sean. He yep. just could not he maneuver. Couldn't. Yeah, there was no mobility there. And they have got 82 yards that they've got to go. It's back there, Jerry Coleman comes around the left side, breaks back inside, and he hit, he bobbles the ball, got it back. So he brought down as a good gain. He gets it out to about the 27 yard line. It's brought down there by a host of Razorbacks, including number 73 is uh, Chad Roldan, and number 65, Jason Hart. Number 35, Charles Waller in on it. Got the ball out to the 27. Gonna They're gonna measure for a possible first down. Good play by Jerry Coleman. He broke around the left end, cut back inside a couple of tack, couple of blocks, bobbled the ball shortly, had the presence of mind to keep his eyes on the ball and, and tuck it back underneath before he got hit. A lot of young players will will be stretching for the additional yardage. He'll have it by the nose. No, he likes it. Just about shy two inches, an inch maybe. or two. But a lot of young players will be thinking, keep moving. And Jerry Coleman did the very wise thing, and he got that ball, a hold of it, tucked it back under before he was hit by a whole host of white jerseys. We've got second down and a very short one. Going to mark it at the 30, at the 28-yard line. As uh, Jerry Coleman has got 37 yards on 15 carries, Gary Cherry. Uh, Trey Rochelle has been the standout with oh, well over 100 yards tonight. Coleman has got such quickness, he is a threat anytime he gets the ball. He definitely is, and they've done real well on the outside runs and option to the outside. Let's see what happens now. Craig Jenkins hands it off to Rochelle. Got the first down as he crosses the 30-yard line, brought down by Cedric Daniels and, and by number 19, Fred Cornelius. So we've got first and 10 at the 31, 723. They've used a minute and gone 10 yards. They can't, they don't have the time to go 10 yards in a minute. No. Uh, so the Razorbacks are trying to put a defensive stand here. The Tigers are trying to make something happen. Two wide outs to the right side. Jenkins gets the ball, steps back inside, quarterback keeper. Good play, good cutback. Jenkins, he's up to the 45 yard line before he's brought down by number 24, Jimmy Moore. Great play on a quarterback keeper by Craig Jenkins as he picks up 14 yards and gets the ball out. That's a break that the Texas High Tigers needed to see. And there's that quickness of, of Craig Jenkins. Steps inside, good move, good head fake. Both teams now have nine first downs. Tigers down to under seven minutes now. Craig Monroe and Michael Holmes both split out wide right. Trey Rochelle's the up back. Jerry Hubbard's the deep back. Jenkins fakes, pitches out to, to Jerry Coleman, excuse me. He gets inside the 50 to the 45 down to the 42 yard line. Jerry Coleman as he picks up 13 yards. And that, there you see the 5'8", 150 pound junior. And he's uh, very quick. And Jenkins did a great job of detaining the containment man on defense. The containment man's job is to stop the option with the quarterback, make him make a decision. He did that, and Craig Jenkins pitched at the very last second, and Coleman turned it upfield, did a great job. Tigers are marching. They've got 6.20 to go. They're at the 42. Good right now. Looking good right now, Sean, and they're trying to move it uh, slow but surely. Monroe on the near side, Holmes on the far side, Skip Shaw's 
I think Craig inside the Trey Rochelle. He's across the 30, 25, and he's brought down at the 21 yard line by number 15, Albert Kelly. And again, the Tigers are marching. They've they are. done this several times. They've had turnovers that have stopped them several times. Uh, Razorback players down on the field, but look at this replay again. Rochelle, quick opener right up the middle off the right guard, and he goes all the way down to the 21 yard line. A pickup of 21 yards as Cray Rochelle's nearing 150 yards on the night. Unofficially, we've got him as 158 yards on 12 That's carries, Gary. Great night's work for anyone in, in football, and he's he's had some tough yardage, and he's run tough tonight for the Tigers. Trey Rochelle, he's about a, he's about six foot six one. He weighs about 220. Hey, that's Good size, much quicker than you would initially think just looking at him. But he's a very quick. His first step, and he's as he explodes through the hole, and uh, just doing an outstanding job. Okay, we're got, we've got an Arkansas Razorback player down on the field. We're going to take a break right now. We'll be back in just a moment. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. If you live, work, worship, or attend school in Bowie, Cass, Marion, or Miller counties, you can become a member of Domino Federal Credit Union. Need a low-cost loan? Personal, auto, motorcycle, boat, RV, vacation, real estate. We take care of all your loan needs. Make your life easier. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. Federally insured by NCUA, equal housing lender. And we're back with you while we were gone. Jerry Coleman took a handoff from Jenkins and got down inside the 15 to the four, to just inside the 15 yard line. And pickup of about six yards has come back second and four. There you see Coleman going off the left tackle. And we've got a timeout call by Roy Thornton of Texas High. We'll be right back with you in just one moment. The road to financial freedom is waiting for you at Millway Federal Credit Union. It's obvious why so many residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller counties are making Millway their financial institution. Millway strives to offer services at lower cost with attractive rates to ensure you, the member, earn more and save more every day. Reconnect with your money and feel good again. At Millway, it's your way. Locations in Ashdown and Texarkana, Arkansas, and Texarkana, Texas. Membership available to all residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller County. Federally insured by NCUA. Equal housing lender and there you see the Texas high fans are getting excited they got a second and five with 537 to go the ball's inside the 15 yard line Tigers have marched all the way from their own inside their own 20 uh, and Jenkins a misdirection play a little botch play but he kept the ball and hopefully Moore just nails him Great containment by the Arkansas High Razorbacks. Zofaline Moore nails him for a two-yard loss back to about the 17-yard line. They're going to spot it, looks to me, where? They're spotting it right at the 15. So they're going to say a one-yard loss. They're going to actually give him back up to the 14. Okay, so no gain. We've got third down and four. Good job on a busted play. Craig Jenkins turned around. He didn't have anybody to hand it off to, Gary Cherry, but the Arkansas Razorbacks stepped up the defense. Okay, big play here now with third down for the Tigers, Sean. Third down and four from the 14. Inside handoff to Rochelle. He's down near the 10. The whole quit. He had to get inside the 11, and they're marking it at about the 10 and a half. That should be enough for the first down. Brought down by Cedric Daniels. Trip Fusel's in on there. There you're gonna, we're gonna see that one again. Quick inside to Rochelle. Rod Van trying to pull him back. First down, pick up a four. And so we've got 
First and 10, they can get a first down without scoring a touchdown. They have to go get the ball just inside the one yard line. We've got 4.45 to go here. It's seven to zero in favor of the Razorbacks of Arkansas High. Texas High has mounted a, a long drive consuming over four minutes so far. Craig Jenkins has engineered this right. Trey Rochelle's got the ball. He's inside the 10 to about the seven and he's pushed back at that point. Brought down by Rod Van, Mark Carroza, and Chad rolled in in on that. And the whole front line for the Razorbacks on that play. We've got, that'll make second and eight now. Four minutes to go here in the, just over four minutes to go in the game. Texas High has amassed 220 yards, all of it on the ground, Gary Cherry. Oh. And I don't think I would change the offensive scheme right now because they're seeming to make things happen. Jenkins hands off to Coleman inside and he gets maybe a yard as he slipped down and he's brought down. There you see number 14, Mark Carroza, bottom there. As Coleman gets the ball and they're gonna mark it at about the six. So it's gonna be third down and a crucial five, five and a half, almost six yards to go. And again, we've got three minutes and 28 seconds to go. Tigers. And timeout, Texas High Tigers. We're gonna take one more timeout. We'll be back with you right after this break. This broadcast of KLFI TV's Texarkana Football Classics is brought to you by these fine Texarkana sponsors. BCS Business Communication Systems, Carmichael's Custom Jewelry, Chicken Express, Cooper Service, Domino Federal Credit Union, Millway Federal Credit Union, Red River Credit Union, Ross and Showmeyer Elder Law Attorneys, and Sonic, America's Drive-In. And we're back with you. There you see the Razorback defense in its huddle. Over with defensive coach Denny Burdine and company. Uh, they come back, they have a third down and six defensive stance to to prevent the Texas High Tigers who have marched the, basically the length of the field, Most, yeah. starting deep down at about their own 20 yard line. Qu backup qu quarterback Craig Jenkins, who has set for Charles Ray, has marched them all the way down. And third and six, you've got double wideouts left. Michael, uh, excuse me, Michael Holmes and Craig Monroe. Jenkins stammering with the ball. He's still on his feet. Touchdown, Texas High! over on the right side, stepped back inside, looked like a busted play initially, and he just improvised and did an outstanding job. There you see Craig Jenkins, 160 pound senior. Let's see it, he's looking, he doesn't have anybody to pitch to, steps back up inside, several missed tackles, stays on the feet. It's seven to six, and now the it's question is, time. do you go one, do you go Three two? Three minutes to play, I don't know, that'd be one eye. That, and they've uh, got Vasher in there for the PAT. That's almost automatic fit, young man. He is he, a he's great an excellent kicker. kicker. And low snap, and it's oh, blocked. It's blocked. You can advance it on you, an extra point like you can that. Advance you can advance it on an extra you point. You can advance it for, for, the, for the two points. And I Jimmy Moore's got. The, and he's right there, excuse me, that was not Jimmy Moore, that was Ken Tyson advanced it all the way down to the 45 yard line, but the extra point attempt was blocked. We've got a penalty flag on the field, looks like it may be a face mask call. One thing That's about it in Texas, that extra point, when you miss it, there's been some games won on the ball being missed and then the defense oh. taking it and moving it downfield for two points. They get two points on this play. A low snap, it's blocked. It looked like Trip Ducell is the one that got a hand in there to block it. And there you see a face mask as uh, number 25, Ken Tyson, was brought down. 
This Texas is, uh, High had a 12-play drive that consumed four minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. They scored the touchdown on a great play by Craig Jenkins. The extra point is blocked. Now, on this, do they, they assess the penalty assess on, front of the kickoff. on the, the kickoff. kickoff. So Texas High will be kicking off from their own 25-yard line. A lot of reminiscence. You were not here two years ago, Sean. Texas High over here won two years ago, 76. Coach Toombs had just scored like the Tigers, and he had to face going for two. He did, did not. They got beat 76 to tonight. Of course, with plenty of time left, Ross did the right thing. He went for the extra point to tie. That's what I would have done if I was a coach, and I'm sure Coach Toombs would have had two. And it just, you know, well, it's it started, not automatic. You know? No, it started with a low snap. And anytime that holder has to pick the ball off the ground, again, that throws the timing off of everybody, sure. throws the kicker's timing off, and, and we've seen it so many times on every level of football. As that, when that snap is not just right, it puts that extra pressure, you lose a half second or so. You're going to see a lot of people on this line that are receivers for the Razorbacks because they may be anticipating an onside kick, even though they're deep to punt this football. Here's a replay, Sean. Ball bounced and a good pickup by the holder for the Tigers. He, he and that was Chad Roldan, number 73, that blocked, no, excuse me, Philip Williams, 76, that blocked that kick. There you see some of the Texas High fans, they're still, they still believe they're number one. They this is another Texas Arkansas up. High type of game, Sean. Again, this is your second year to experience being from Missouri, and I tell you, it's the typical Arkansas. You never know what's going to happen until that clock moves to zero, and that's the game. That's the great thing about high school football. It doesn't matter what part of the country you're from. And these kids from. don't get paid, and they're not professional. Like, who, who cares about baseball right now? That's Let's get right. to high school football. That's Let them right. strike. <laughs> it doesn't matter what part of the country you are from, Gary. High school football brings excitement. And we've got a short kick taken by number 18, Ophelene Moore. He steps back inside, still on his feet, down to the midfield. Protecting that ball with yes, two sir, hands. Reed. There's a senior who's showing you a lot of, of poise and, and a lot of good common sense. He had two hands on that ball from after he took two steps. We've got a replay to show you exactly what Coach Toon says. Put both hands, both feet if possible on that football. Look at this. Two hands never left that ball the moment he had anybody around him. And they were sure, certainly going to grab in the football. We got, we've got lots of time left, folks. We've got oh, three yes. minutes and 14 sure. seconds to go. Texas High still has two timeouts left, and they are Razorbacks out of the ball, first and 10 right at midfield. Marty Cherry hands off to Jerry Hubbard, goes around left end, breaks in the open. He's over across the 40 the for first a first down, down at the 39-yard line. First down for, for that young man for the Razorbacks. That's what Coach Toombs wants to see. That's not what Coach Thornton wants to see. I'm sure his Tiger players are going to be not only going for the tackle, but trying to strip the ball. They need that ball back. Good, good defensive play by number 43, LeJonte James, to bring down Jerry Hubbard. LeJonte has been on the scene all night tonight for the Razor, for the Tigers. LeJonte James, the young man from Liberty Ilo. I'm used to seeing him wear number six down at Liberty Ilo <laughs> last year. He was an outstanding player down there. His family moved. He transferred up to Texas High. And so we've got first and 10 at the 39. Jerry Hubbard across, around the left side again, and he's brought down by a host. Texas High tacklers, number 72, he Jason lost Minter a half yard. was one of them. Number 76, Johnny Walker was another. And number 42, Trey Rochelle. Those three gentlemen were in on the tackle. A loss of almost a yard. Let's say a loss of a yard. It's going to be second and 11. The most important thing is the clock continues to move down Marty, with 2.20 to go. Marty Cherry will be running that clock. Coach Toombs, I'm sure I've told Marty, go up to the line, look at the clock, watch it till it gets to two or three seconds and snap it because he's going to use every second on the clock he can use. That's down to seven right now. You can see him going very slowly. It's down. He got it down to four seconds. Oh, ball's coughed up by number 19, Frederick, or Fred Cornelius. And Craig Monroe, number 10, comes up with the ball. There is the that's, break that Royce the break. needed. He has right. two minutes to go 62 yards and put some points up. Hey, field goal. And the most important thing for him, not only has he got two minutes, he has two timeouts. And he has an offense that has been able to move the ball. And the Texas fans are on their feet. As Michael Holmes from the huddle was waving for the fans to come up. Craig Jenkins. 
Back to pass, sets up, looks for Craig Monroe, and it's completed into the 30, inside the 30 to the 28 yard line. Great play by Craig Monroe as he was defended down there by number 15, Albert Kelly. There's the co biggest concern That's for Johnny Toombs of the Razorbacks. That's true. He was concerned about his defensive secondary if they got into a passing game. Craig Monroe is a senior. Oh, and it's going to be brought back by a holding penalty. Oh, boy. We've got a hold, and, and Craig Monroe is extremely upset. He worked hard to get open, and he made a great catch. Well, these officials have called a great ball game tonight. They, they? They're called it, they've, they it's call gone it as both they ways. See it. We can't say that it's gone one way or the other unevenly. It's gone both ways. They've done a good job. They've kept the game under control. And the thing that I've been very impressed with, so you're going to see this replay again, the players have kept their emotions under control. Yeah. We haven't seen any players try and do any taunting, anything like that. And, and that's just what you like to see in these young men. They're playing good, hard-nosed football. Texas High has, that was, uh, Gary, that was the, only their second penalty. What an inopportune time with a minute 50 to go here in the game. Backs them up. They've got first down and 20 from their 29 yard line. Again, Jenkins steps back to pass. Skip Shaw is open and it's incomplete. As Shaw was open and he almost intercepted by Elbert Kelly. This was the way the Razorbacks wish they had uh, Anthony Holliverse and Eric Warfield, Sean, from last year because they they have the inexperience in the secondary. and uh, But they've got some kids out there that uh, love to play football, and uh, they're going to rise to the occasion. Right now the Tigers with a second and 20 with a minute 38 left in this ball game. It's been another bat nail type game. If you've got heart trouble, you need to leave the stadium and <laughs> listen to the uh, news later tonight or something. This has been an excellent ball game from both ends. Uh, both coaches have done a good job with their players. Both teams have fought hard. Jenkins steps back, throws it out there for Craig Monroe. He caught it, great play by Craig Monroe. Inside the 30, the 25, to the 22 yard line. No flags this time, folks. And Craig Monroe does a phenomenal job. That ball looked like it was gonna be intercepted by number 40, Herbert Jones. And Monroe stepped inside of Jones to grab that ball. Let's take a look at this again. Herbert Jones is playing out there as free safety, and it looked like he was gonna get that ball. He was ready, and right Monroe catch. stepped inside of him, caught it, gets it down inside the 25 to the 22, first and 10. The clock is moving at a minute 25. Jenkins, busted play, oh, oh, and he's brought down, he's first hit by 25, who is Ken Tyson, and he, then he was leveled by look like Rod Van, excuse me, Philip Williams, and quickly Roy Thornton calls timeout. Tyson's got a leg cramp for the Texas, for the Arkansas High Razorbacks. Quickly, Coach Roy Thornton calls timeout as a loss of the play. We're going to take a break right here. We got a minute eight to go. It's seven to six, Arkansas High. At Red River Credit Union, we know everyone is looking for more convenience and less hassle. To help make life a little easier, we offer Red River Credit Union Express Branches. Our Express Branches are open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday to help get business done. You'll find an Express Branch nearby with locations in Texarkana on Texas Boulevard, Walton Drive, and inside Central Mall. Convenience with a personal touch. At Red River Credit Union, we exist to serve you. Gary, let's look at the replay of that, that pass. Yeah, I figured it out. Great job by Craig Monroe. Arkansas High's defense, as we've said, has bent and bent and bent. If you just look at the offensive statistics, Texas High's got over 270 yards of offense. Arkansas High's got about 140 yards of mm, offense. Yeah. You know, you would look at that and, and first downs, Texas High's got 13 first downs to 10 for the Razorbacks. Looking at that, you would say that it's a bent. They've had pretty well the domination. The score seven to six, a crucial mixed extra point has been them, but they're driving again. They've got one minute and eight seconds plus one timeout to get in 25 yards. They've got second and 13. They can't afford really, they, I'm sure they don't want to use that timeout until they absolutely have to. They've got to keep the ball in the air or heading for the sidelines. 
inside the trailer. Rochelle, he is stopped, but smothered by the Razorback defense. Brett Cornelius, Rod Van, Phillip Williams, they had just smothered Trey Rochelle. The clock's running at 56 seconds. And they've got a good field goal kicker, Basher. And that's, I think, what they're setting up for is this young man try to put three up. And we've got third down with 45 seconds to go. It's third and 13. A, a field goal here is going to be a 40 to 45 yard attempt. That's a long Well, he, I think he's capable. Jenkins underneath. He's got some room on the right side. And breaks one tackle, breaks two, and he's brought down inside the 15 to about the 14 yard line. They're going to mark it at about the 13. It's going to be very close to a first down. The officials, they've got a break with an official's timeout. They can't, con and Texas High calls timeout. One of the Texas High players called timeout, and Roy Troy Thornton is visibly disappointed in that. You know, they, they've got one timeout left. They needed to save it. They had an official's timeout as they've got, the officials are, mar are measuring for the possible first down. Craig Jenkins did an excellent job with that option play and they're just short about six inches. They had the, the officials timeout. They have no timeouts now remaining, Gary Cherry. They've got right. 26 seconds to get that ball 13 yards. Well, with Vasher, I'd almost have to think I'd go with that, that field goal attempt by Vasher. He can, he can put it through there. But the problem you've got is they cannot try and run the ball now. No, that's true. They have to throw the ball. But They've hurt themselves greatly because they could have done another running play and maybe even two and call the timeout, but they can't. They're going to have to throw the ball because if they run the ball, they're going to use up. And Coach Thornton's being told by the official there that uh, he has used all of his timeouts. And we've got fourth down. It's a crucial fourth down well, they're with less go for than the, a yard. They're going, for the they're going to go for the field goal now as Basher's going to line up on the 19-yard line. That'll be a 29-yard attempt for this young man. A high snap, a high snap. We've got a penalty flag down. And they caught it, and it's intercepted by the Razorbacks. The ball's down in the 12-yard line. The kicker is Trip Fusell intercepted the ball. The whole key is who Where's is the, the penalty? penalty on? The penalty was right at the Arkansas line of scrimmage. Oh, let's say it's maybe on Arkansas High. If it's Arkansas High, they've got new blood. <laughs> it is. Offsides, first down, Texas High at the, they'll take it five yards down to the seven yard line. What a break for Texas High. We've got 16 seconds to go. They're gonna line it up again. Oh yeah, they'll have to. They're gonna line it up again. They have no timeouts. And as soon as the yeah, as soon as the referee blows the ball into play, they the clock will start. 16 seconds to go. Vasher's gonna try what will be a 24-yard field goal from the right hash mark. Low snap. And no good. Wow. No good. It's all wow. the wow. We got another penalty. We've got another penalty. We've got a personal foul roughing the kicker by Arkansas High. Coach Johnny Toombs just cannot believe it. He cannot believe it. They've got a roughing the kicker call, which is going to give them one more opportunity. We've got 13 seconds to go. That'll take it half the distance. I don't know if I was Coach Royce Thornton if I wouldn't try a passing play at this point. Watching what the officials are doing, they mark the ball now at the four yard line, almost the three, the three and a half yard line yeah, is where the ball's marked. Shoe First and goal, 13 seconds to go. They're, they're lighting up again. This will be a 10 yard, this will be basically an extra point. Basher's lining up from the 10-yard line, a 20-yard attempt, his third attempt. The snap is high, it's bobbled, it's blocked Mark again! It's blocked! I cannot believe it! I cannot believe it! And the ball it will, is picked up by the Razorbacks. We've got five seconds to go, and Arkansas High 
has not, squeezed, look, apparently squeezed out another one. I couldn't see who blocked it. Number 19, I think, covered. Let's see right here, Sean. This Brad is the Cornelius, third or fourth. Brad Cornelius blocked it, recovered it, and what can we say? I can't believe it. This, this has is been the craziest football game I've seen in this series in years. But, you know, it's been a nail butter. Oh. And, a, and it's not been anything. You can't go back and say, well, we were robbed of this one. We were robbed. No. You had a clean, you had a, a, a genuine a penalty. Then you had a, a roughing the kicker. You give them three opportunities, three bobbled snaps. I know that Coach Royce Thornton is just, he's over on the sidelines with his arms shaking. Oh, they had some. Marty Tiger Cherry's just going down change. the ball. The clock's going to run out. And, folks, there you see it. There's the final as Arkansas High defeats Texas High 7-6 to six from Grimm Stadium. It's been a tremendous game, Gary Cherry. I saw uh, Craig J Jenkins, the quarterback, and he, he did a great job. The Tigers come up and pat Mike Cherry on, Marty Cherry on the helmet. That shows you the... The fact that the, this the game's over with now, but the, you're glad to see these players acknowledge the fact. Hey, good ball game. We just fell short. Yep, it's been a it's been a, a, a great great game. This Craig Jenkins, this this young man, I believe Craig played a tremendous game when he came in as quarterback, and I think this youngster may be playing a lot more for the Tigers. He moved them. He really did. He twice moved them down the field, and uh, just did a tremendous job. Well, folks, we've had a great time bringing this inaugural game for 1994 to you. On behalf of Gary Cherry and all of the KBSC production staff and crew, I'm Sean McMahon. The final score again, Arkansas High Razorback 7, Texas High Tigers 6. Good night, everybody. So long, everyone. Thanks for watching KLFI TV's Texarkana Football Classic. This program is brought to you by these fine Texarkana sponsors BCS, Business Communication Systems, Carmichael's Custom Jewelry, Chicken Express, Cooper Service. Domino Federal Credit Union. Millway Federal Credit Union. Red River Credit Union. Ross and Showmont, Elder Law Attorneys. And Sonic, America's Driver. Any rebroadcast or reproduction or other use of this video and the accounts of this game without the express written consent of KL5 TV is strictly prohibited.